stream set up and then we can swap over to a multiplayer. Uh, this is gonna be a fun this is gonna be a fun day today, chat. Oh, this is gonna be good. All right. Worse than you're old, you two are both old. What what the hell? I got it when I was Oh my god. That is the one thing I always forget. I was like, what do you mean? I was like just eighteen like back in twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen was like five years ago now. That's or six years ago now, which is crazy to me. Oh man, don't remind me. Jeez. <laughs> Dude like I only just got over the whole thing of like you hear something happened in the year, like, 2000, and you're thinking, like, Oh, that's not that long ago. Wait a minute. That was 24 years ago. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm <laughs> perpetually stuck in the, like, oh, like, uh, Skyrim came out in 2011. I was like, yeah, that was, like, three years ago. Oh, it wait, no, it's not. Exactly! Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, you, like, 2011. Oh, that's not so long ago. Wait a minute. Oh, like, 2018, like, Skyrim Special Edition. That's not so long ago. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> 2020, it's when the the big pandemic hit. That's not so long ago. Wait a minute, that was yeah, four was, years yeah, ago. The, yeah, the pandemic was four years ago. That's crazy to me. That's nuts. Yeah. And we you, lived. Stuck in 2018. Yeah, I'm stuck in like 2014. I don't know where I'm stuck, but like it's it's definitely somewhere in the past. <laughs> like. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Borderwise is actually stuck in 1998. 1998. Oh boy. <laughs> I remember 1998, kind of. I was alive. <laughs> oh dear lord. <laughs> yep! <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Alright. I think the earliest year I remember is, uh, 02. Yeah. <laughs> also, Ex FTD's 10 year anniversary in three months. That's true, yeah. That's nuts. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly... Rolston, if you could just... I don't know, keep talking. I just want to check on my phone that... Uh uh, that people can hear you over on my stream. They almost certainly can, but I'm just paranoid about Twitch these days. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, let me know how it goes. Uh, I will just keep talking to the chat. So, chat, entertain me. Ancient creature, old SMH, August 7, 2014. Time is scary because humans are not designed to keep track of time. Okay, actually, someone asked for an archaeology story earlier, so I'm going to do that just to help Borderwise with its audio. Um, ar like, archaeological timescaling is insane when you try to explain it to people. Because, like, people will go like, oh, well, like... Uh, you know, my family's been here for generations. And it's like, okay, but you have to understand, people were here for tens of thousands of years before your family was. Like, the human history scale, like, for example, Cleopatra of ancient Egyptian fame lived closer to the invention of the iPhone than she did to the, the construction of the pyramids. Like, that's how old Egypt is, for example. Egypt is ancient. And it's just one of the really cool things I really love about uh, archaeology is like you go like oh yeah like Cleopatra pyramids and all that nope those are two very different time periods that was and literally the, the best kind of sound checking I could have hoped for so well done and yeah you can oh, yeah, be no, heard the, clearly yeah. Yeah, I am the Sultan of uh, Yapistan don't worry I got it <laughs> <laughs> Sultan of Yapistan beautiful okay <laughs> all right let's do the multiplayer thing shall we Alrighty, I will save this, and we will continue this on another day, chat. It's a good flying boat. the campaign stuff done. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be welded in two flying boat hollows together, and then putting the flight deck between them. It's gonna be a fun time. Alrighty, multiplayer host. Uh, password is DWG. Uh, if anyone else comes in, I will kick them out and probably time them out in chat. So, place your bets, chat. All you right. can either fuck around, or you could find out. <laughs> Alright, so what was the password again? Uh, DWG, no caps, it's just deep on a guard. Yay. Join. Let me know when you're in. Hey, there we go. Holy also, this bananas. Is, this is so surreal to me, because again, I, I grew up watching your videos, this is crazy. <laughs> and now I feel old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. It's funny, because chat calls me old. <laughs> yeah, how dare they? <laughs> how dare? <laughs> That's not how it works, Rory. You fuck around and find out, not fuck around or find out. No, no, you fuck around or find out. History sounds so fun. Isn't there like a 500 year overlap between when the pyramids were built and we still had mammoths? Uh, yeah, the mammoths uh, were still alive when the pyramids were built. Yeah, dwarf mammoths specifically. I think not on Cyprus, but on like a different Mediterranean island. Uh, yeah, there was some on the Mediterranean islands and then there was also Siberian mammoths still. Oh yeah. Uh, the North Amer yeah, North American mammoth had already gone extinct by that point though, because humans kind of plug walked into North America and just fucking dunked on all of the the Ice Age fauna, which is <laughs> the way I explain history. This is why I'm not a prof. I, I, apparently, I'm a good teacher. I just I'm not professional enough to be a professor. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that right. sums it up pretty well. Like, 
the uh, human beings walked into North America and they were like, ooh, lunch. That doesn't know to be scared of us yet. <laughs> me, me standing on a canyon above a mammoth, just Fortnite dancing on like the dun 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 the rock. <laughs> I mean, they would actually- they would definitely dance if they killed a mammoth. Like, are you kidding me? Food for weeks? Worth celebrating. No, no, see, Giant Swap struggled the ball on the court- that's true! <laughs> giant Swap's not balling. <laughs> but actually, to be fair, Giant Swap's were much more active than the current- I'm so- I'm actually kind of- I feel robbed by the fact that the only Swap member existent anymore is the actual Swap that we have nowadays. Because Ancient Swap were so much cooler. They were- Modern Swap? Born as hell. I mean, there's some fascinating things about modern sloths, but yeah, it's like, I don't know, the elephant-sized sloth is like, well, hard to ignore that thing. Imagine having to watch Roar IRL if you want to learn history. I could do history streams in the future, honestly, or like history videos about different archaeological... Honestly, yeah, alright, I'm just thinking of new content, sorry about this. Alright, back to canoes. Let's oh. learn... Actually, do you guys want to learn how canoes were invented? <laughs> Take a log, make it hollow. Paddle, paddle. Border... <laughs> Collab idea, Borderwise builds a canoe in the background as I explain the history of the canoes. Okay, like, unironically, that sounds like a really good time. <laughs> like, do like a David Attenborough-like style of narration as you're building it. Oh, yeah. Alright, uh, we should probably... Canoe and it's that habitat. Yeah, we should probably, like, get cracking on building it. Yes, <laughs> okay. Alright, I've never built with another human being, like, in multiplayer before, so... Which so bits do you want to do? Yeah, I, ha I have a vehicle over here. Um, how do you build? I'm curious, because I know you said I build differently from you, because I tend to do a frame first and then fill it, whereas you prefer internals first. Um, I vary. Depends on, like, um, the vehicle, like, in, like, building inside to outside or outside to inside. My default is I literally build the middle first and then build the bow and then okay. literally copy the bow and then make it the stone as well and I just put extra layers in the middle. So it's very fast and it's like... That's why it looks like canoes. Yeah, because the front and back looks the same. So okay, I'm gonna teach you a really neat trick for how to do uh, bows and sterns. Okay. Because you technically only have to design the bow and then the stern is just a quick modification. Ooh. Uh, but they'll, they'll look different enough that people won't call them a canoe. Oh, okay, they'll, so they'll call the it a canoe. Plain view, yeah? Oh, they still will because you have a reputation at this point. But yep, there's no, there's no, there's no saving that. I'm sorry. But <laughs> yeah, nope, I'm doomed. Okay. So how like do you want a replica of the plane view or just inspired by the plane view? Just inspired. Replicas are way too freaking hard. And also, uh, looking at the picture of the plane view here, it's not. It's like it was a test ship. It was never like fully armed, as far as I'm aware. So. If you look at the plane view, like on Wikipedia or something, it's like that, except. Um, Reasonable sized APS uh, in the front, like in the fashion of like modern warships. Uh, okay. Big big missiles like behind the superstructure, and I don't know, we'll probably duct tape a laser or plasma cannon like on the rear or something. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just give you a shout in chat there. Okay, so what I'm thinking is uh, do you have any example ships for this faction so far that I can base it off? Okay, so. Alright, so here is where we must call it, I think. Because the factions have different rules and a different theme, I think this one should be... Alright, so we're just gonna go with the one... Yeah, like, USS Plainview, right, we're gonna go with the faction, the Sewol Republic, so... Their whole shtick is that uh, every vehicle they have has a little sub-vehicle attached to it, either as a drone or as, like, something else. Usually a drone. So... Hear me out. Plane view, so hydrofoil like little Corvette. What if we make it into a seaplane tender? A, s a seaplane what? Sorry. A seaplane tender. So it's like a carrier, but from like you know how like some ships back in World War Two had like uh, like Catalina's launch off of them. Oh yeah, sure. right. Yeah, so we're gonna make this ship as a dedicated like Corvette with the APS at the front, plasma at the back, and then we're gonna have a little section at the back where uh, a float plane can or a flying boat can launch off of it. That is a brilliant idea. Let's yeah, do that. I've been wanting to make one for Deepwater Guard for a while, but I get lazy. <laughs> right. Okay, uh, right. right. I actually uh, have a perfect um, uh, thing to work off here. So I'm going to spawn in uh, yeah. uh, one of the things that's already been submitted for this. It's the Chimera Attack Carrier. And basically, imagine... Well, you just have to see it for yourself, because it's like... Alright, it needs host approval, I think. 
Okay. Ta da! Ooh, this is amazing. Okay. Yeah, this I love this thing. Who made this thing? Inky this. Boy made this. Inky Boy. So yeah, this isn't like, of course, our little plane view isn't going to look exactly like this, but yeah, it's like a World War II style, like I guess battleship or cruiser or something. But yeah, you just have, you know, that aircraft carrier deck on top, and I just think it's a combination that would probably never work in real life, obviously. But this looks damn cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm stealing this layout for uh, Deepwater Guard build I want to do. Oh, yeah. I've been meaning to steal <laughs> this layout for ages, like, and I haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> Barely see who is the shout out since his name is so dark. It was Border Wise. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. Balance what step. I was thinking is, like, we'll make it quicker, or quicker. Yeah, we'll, make, we'll just make it fast. Let's go. No, um. <laughs> ADHD is a bitch, but uh, okay. So you want kind of World War Two-ish style? That's what I'm understanding from this. All right, so it's and then... it's not quite World War Two. It's post World War Two because the Sewol Republic, their whole design element is essentially like Cold War, like almost like oh think, hell yeah, okay. Think anachronistic Cold War, like from both um, the Soviets and like the NATO nations is just kind of a mishmash of that which means that we can we are free to be inspired from anything from 1945 to like 1989 so oh yeah that sounds have, great we have a lot of things that we can draw inspiration from it's really nice okay so let me cook up a quick little hull here uh, just to show you what I mean with the bow trick right looking at the bow uh, I I have, to, I have to use Alloy. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, you like. I'm, I'm Alloy's <laughs> biggest hater because I normally build Deepwater Guard, so I very rarely get to use it. All right. <laughs> people okay. seem to have like strong opinions about Alloy a lot of the time. A lot of people seem to say you'd like you should never use it. Uh, it has its place. Like I'm not gonna say like oh haha it's like useless. It has it definitely has its place. I just tend not to use it because it's banned from my faction. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's do something like. So I don't do I don't normally do modern halls. I will admit, or like realistic halls. Uh, I'm not gonna do realism, obviously, but I'm gonna try and make it... the way I like to build for my custom campaigns is something called plausibility. Like I don't like full realism because it's boring and it's too it's too hard. But like it's too hard I as like... well. Yeah, that too. But I like the idea that like oh yeah, I could see that working. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't you mean it? Plausibility is like it's a good way to go about it. I reckon. For exactly the reasons you just said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll do something like that, and then we'll expand it. So, the main thing here is um, having the wedge is a decent idea for, like, just hydrodynamics, and then two meters to continue that slope going back so it looks nice and flush. Uh, what I do with my sterns, though, is you can actually see it on the design here. You see how at the front you have that one meter wide uh, flat space at the front of the chimera? Whoop. One meter wide, flat space. Where exactly am I supposed to be looking? Oh, there it is, just, like right yeah, on, the, you, yeah, yeah, on the wave right breaker. On the bow. Yeah. Yeah, and then if you look at the back, you can see how the stern is pretty much the same style, except it's just a wider flat space. And that's pretty much what I wanted to show you with, in terms of like, you can just copy the stern style, but instead of doing the exact same thing front and back, just make it a little bit flatter at the back. Boom, instant stern. It's super simple, super fast. Yay. And it avoids the canoe shape. But honestly, again, canoes are such a brand at this point. Yeah, it's like, uh, honestly, I made <laughs> a freaking, like, round ship. Like, you know those old, um... Uh, oh, the Novgorod? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I made something I that looked them. like that, and people were still calling it a canoe, so... <laughs> yeah, at this point, the people... I'm sorry, you have a reputation. I don't... Yeah, think I, can... <laughs> I got a rep. I got a rep. And then people complain you always build canoes. It's like, yeah, I always build canoes, because people... Like, essentially just classify anything I build as a canoe. <laughs> okay. Alright. That was the Hell. birch of FTD. That's so true, honestly. <laughs> okay. It's the birch, hmm? Uh, birch, like, you know, like, my, I don't know if you're a Minecraft builder, but, uh, oh. no one in Minecraft likes birch wood. Oh. And, honestly, Alloy kind of is the birch of FTD. <laughs> I mean, I really like alloy because it's like my bloody ships would never float if I didn't use a lot of alloy. Because I build too compactly. 
<laughs> we were talking about that in chat earlier, where it's like, um, oh, if you have up props, just build better and whatnot. But the thing is, I say I've never had to use up props. I also build mostly out of wood. <laughs> yeah, that is the thing. Is like, yeah. <laughs> it's a trade-off, and like, man, like, what was it? I think it was the Titan Slung that I ended up needing some up props for that, and I was so embarrassed. But also, it's like the thing is incredibly dense. And even mm -hmm. with all the alloy on it, like, the bloody thing would never float and never move if I didn't have up props on it, so... I like to say there's no hard and fast rules in FTD, there's just kind of, um... Very highly recommended guidelines, but, like, I've seen people, like... Not follow those guidelines at all, and they still make something that works. And even mm -hmm. more impressively, something that works and also looks good, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's getting at the look good part, but it is always difficult. That's the hardest part, uh. honestly. Alright, I think, like, you have taken it upon yourself to, like, do the hardest part oh, of yeah, any sorry. ship Oh, yeah, sorry, I just kind of started building. Yeah. That's my bad. Alright, um. I'm just going to have a look here. I'm going to start working on the, um... Because the idea is to mimic the plane view a bit and have the actual propellers and the custom rudders and stuff, like, on... Well, arms. They don't have to actually rotate and do cool stuff, but, like, they do have to be... They do have to look like them with hydrofoil arms. So I'll get cracking on that so long. I was gonna say, you know what you did for your Flamer stream uh, last Friday? Yeah. You know how you had, like, the little, like, the little Azipod props hydrofoil finny bob? I'm not sure what to call them. Yeah. Um, I think that could be a really neat idea for his faction if we expand upon that idea. Oh, yeah, like... like... A little bit, like, make it a little bit less cartoonish and more, like, plausible, and I think that could be a really neat concept to expand upon. Oh yeah, like, uh, there's gonna be Azipods all over the place, if only... Just because Azipods are so good. They're so nice, they're so good. Right, I need to remember how spin blocks work. They work like this. <laughs> they work by spinning, it's a neat trick. Yeah. I was meaning more like, alright, like, how the hell does, um... How the on Earth does, like... How are they orientated again? So I look at them and I'm like, alright, so if I put it this way, which way is it supposed to rotate? <laughs> Two. Uh, let's go on and chat right now. Oh, seaplane tender is so base. Please go with that idea. It's so damn cool. Yeah, we can go with that idea. Oh, yeah. Uh, if We're Mars doing it. Wants that. We're, We're doing it? Okay, yeah. Just the idea. <laughs> I, said, I realized we said we could do it, and then I was like, wait, this isn't my campaign. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's all, no, I love that idea. It's like, just the idea of, like, chucking a seaplane off the back of a hydrofall moving at, like, 92 kilometers an hour is just like, yeah. Cue, like, you know, the Commander Gonka General's theme playing. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, because I'm thinking, like, if we can get the hydrofoil going fast enough, imagine, like, uh, we have it, like, on a piston, it raises up, and we, it's like a glider design. You know how, like, gliders need to be towed to get fast enough to get speed? Yeah! If we have the hydrofoil, just put it on a piston, go fast enough, delay the, the release a little bit so that it, like, it looks like it's getting up to speed and then we just let it fly? That could be a really neat way of taking off. Yeah! Sounds awesome. Sounds good. Found some sick-ass references and posted them in the Discord if you want to check that out. Yeah, sure, I can check that out later. Uh, let's just get the haul done first, though. Yeah. And then, uh... I've done that thing uh, where I'm building something on a spin block and I'm realizing I should have built it off the spin block, prefabbed it, and then stuck it on the spin block because I'm going to make myself <laughs> sick. <laughs> oh, God, I know. I do it every time where I make paddle wheels for two-putter guard stuff. It's like, oh, yeah, like, I just let's just whip up a quick paddle wheel. Oh, God, I forgot the... It. Yeah, it's even worse if, like, you've already set it to, like, move, and then it starts spinning while you're on it, and you're just like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. This is a help! I've made a mistake. <laughs> Alright. Right, one thing I don't want to do by accident is end up making these... Um... What would you call them? These, uh, hydrofoil arms too big for the bow you're building over there, because that would be, well, embarrassing and annoying. Uh, well, how big do you want the, the hull? Because I, I was thinking plain view, judging by the size of it, we're going for something like maybe 5k volume. Well, the good news is, is that over here on the Wikipedia, uh, we can have a starting jump-off point, because the length of the plain view is about... Alright, so the real-life plane view was about 67 meters, which is a bit small for FTD, so 
You scale that up to FTD standards, what do you reckon that would be? About... Uh... So, actually, that's a good question here. I wanna, I'm wanna. i curious as to how you're building your campaign. So, do you want your campaign to follow similar rules to Neater in terms of volume restrictions and uh, different enemy restrictions like that? Or are you just going balls to the walls, we're building whatever we want, it's gonna be huge designs, it's gonna be... Uh... Like what, what's your what's your what's your design philosophy? This is a good. Uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna transition into an interview here. Uh, what's your design philosophy for your custom campaign? It's very <laughs> similar to Nita, simply because Nita is what people are familiar with, and also Nita kind of works. So, and yeah, so the vault there is a strict volume limit. Nothing above thirty thousand blocks. Same as Nita. Um, what other rules? I need to go look up my own campaign rules now uh, because. I wrote all of them down, and then I promptly forget them, and I need to go remind myself. So where did I do that? <laughs> I've hidden it somewhere in my Google Drive. There it is. Right. Past me, what did... Alright, so yeah, so... Alright, so the rules are pretty simple so far. I'm probably going to need to add more. Is like, no repair bots. Uh, no obvious, like, cheese uh, stuff, and that's subjective, I know. And below 30k uh, blocks, because, you know, not everyone has a monster PC that can handle uh, the freaking Stellarion, for instance. <laughs> yeah, okay, no, good, because that, that's good, because that means if we're building to neater uh, specifications, I honestly think 67 by 12 is actually a good size for his boat. Oh, excellent, let's, let's do that then. Because, yeah, right now we're at 12 length with 7, so I can expand it out by, like, another few, uh... Do this... Actually, I think this almost gets a perfect ratio. Give me a second. Oh, oh that is looking got... lovely. <laughs> yeah. So, this is going to need a little bit of decos, but I can I can teach you this as we go along. So, the, yeah. the main thing here, which you probably already know, but I'm going to say it for chat's benefit as well. Um, so, you want your wedge, which is about half an end angle. Like half a slope angle, so that's why we're putting it into a two meter slope instead of a one meter slope, okay. just to avoid that weird crinkled metal, just yeah. to keep it nice and flush. And then, so you do two two meter uh, slopes, and then two three meter slopes, and now we're gonna do two four meter slopes. That will get us the the width and the uh, yeah. So the width right now is thirteen, which is close enough to twelve because I'm not doing an even width build. Oh I'm hell sorry. no! I just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just do not have the patience nor the time for that. Oh no! So, yeah. All right, um, I'm starting to understand now why, like, in your building process, it almost looks like you build a skeleton first, because it's like, yeah, you you put the, like, what do you call it, the offsets first. Mm -hmm. Totally good, uh, literally, I find I find just the easiest way to build is, uh, like, I find it easier to build the container first and then fill the container. Imagine it like Tetris. Because yeah. some people who build the internals first, it's hard to get certain shapes you want if the internals are already set in stone. Oh, yeah. If you're actually, if the objective is to make something that looks a certain way, if the priority is to have a like an aesthetic, like building from the inside out, like that does make it a lot harder. For exactly that reason, it means like, oh man, now there's this huge internal thing that determines how the outside shape is going to be. Now life is hard, and I'm sad. Yeah, exactly, right? Also, sorry, Pap was just replied, Oh god, he's an actual VTuber now, I have to take him out back now. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude! <laughs> That's really funny. It is! Like, oh, shit, we can't... Uh, he's compromised. <laughs> yeah, but this is your codal, people. How does it feel? Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. But... I should mention that just when this VOD goes up on my channel. So, yeah, Roasting, uh... Rustin is like actual coddle and builds like which oh. uh, which which um damn it which uh part of the deep water god was it again it was uh so I started off by working on Riker Goldwater and Fitzgerald craft I do a lot of the planes and still keep control of them e um mostly what I do nowadays though is I am in charge of the entire land campaign okay so anything, to, anything to do yeah anything to do with ashes goes for me first usually which okay. honestly is really weird having coddles that I. Uh, like, you know, but I grew up talking to and like always discussing game design with them. They actually ask me for stuff now, which is really weird. Yeah, it's like, what do you mean? Like, you guys are like the seniors here, but uh, a lot of people uh, just kind of, if it's land campaign related, you can come to me. I'll, uh, I'll figure something out. Any questions about the land campaign in either chat, let me know. I can answer it. Uh, I'm going to be doing a huge update coming out on, well, it's not going to come out on Monday, but I'm going to submit it by Monday. Uh, mm -hmm. Just so that, because I go back to work soon. 
So I want to have some updates out. I wanted the entire campaign done by April, but I got distracted then. So, Land TG Wen. Um, what is Cuddle short for? Cuddle is short for Keeper of the Lore. Hey, Henry Wan, thanks for coming over. Just came over and also didn't expect hey. to be a YouTuber, that's fair. <laughs> Henry Wong, just so you know, is um, being extremely helpful in uh, just organizing the whole Kanumageddon thing in the custom campaign yeah. server, so... Yeah. Nice, I mean, Shout I mean, out to Henry from, Wong. Uh, yeah, he's, he's done a few bounties for me in the past, and he's a, he's a very good builder. Yeah! So, uh, oh yeah, I know. <laughs> I've seen them. <laughs> yeah, good. It's, good to, it's good to see you again, Henry. It's uh, It's been a while. Okay. Yeah, because you did you did the truck for Dustwind, if I remember correctly. You did that box truck. Do you have a name plan for this? Uh, oh, okay. So I just got a redeem in my chat, borderwise. Ooh. Um, so essentially, I have a 500 channel point redeem where someone can name a pinata or a vehicle, depending on which game I'm playing. Uh huh. Um, so my question is, are you will? Do you already have a name plan for this? Hell no. Go for it. Alrighty. <laughs> so yeah, chat. If you. Uh, I believe Cringe redeemed it first, so Cringe, you get to name this one. If it's an appropriate name, we might use it. If it's not, then uh, don't expect much. That, that's my one condition, is like, make it make sense. Like, make it an actual good name. Don't, yeah. don't meme it. That's all I ask. Yeah, like, meme memes are good, but sometimes they're bad. So, them's the rules. <laughs> okay. Oh, so technically... You're supposed to give the name when you redeem the channel points, so technically he just named Vispin. Do you have a name planned for this? <laughs> That's a great name! <laughs> it's the... Chat just, yeah, Cruiser just pointed that out to me. <laughs> it is the SRN unnameable. <laughs> 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 Clipped. <laughs> Wait. Cringe Clipper. Do we like the name Clipper? Uh, it's gonna be a seaplane tender, so I think we could... I don't, I don't, so I don't know what name and theme you have for your custom factions? Oh wait, no, I have uh, notes on that. That's... Damn it. Sorry, I should have mentioned that first. Okay, so the naming scheme... Alright, so the good news is that uh, for the Sewol Republic, um, the naming scheme is like re is like the real world military. So it's things like animals, objectives, and like number designations. Um, so yeah, just... Like over here, we've got the Chimera. And what other names do we have? We have things like Huntsman. And Fury class, Minnow class, like, all right, we've got some inconsistent names in here, but it's fine. And we've got things like Leopard, Coastal, Coral class, Coastal Defense Vessel, and stuff like that. So the naming scheme is actually probably the most flexible out of the Kanumageddon factions, I suppose. So basically, if it sounds like it would be the name of a real world um, military hydrofall, we could probably roll with it. I'm trying to pick up, um, PC is on me in both streams. Hell yeah, Fluffy, it was good to have people in both streams. Yay! Uh, if you're in my chat and you're not watching Borderwise, get over there, because I can uh, I can see the, the viewer discrepancy right now, and Borderwise needs more viewers, so go thank over. Thank you! <laughs> thank you, thank you! Any, anyone found to not be in Borderwise's chat uh, will be executed after stream. You guys know Ooh. the drill. I uh, say <laughs> I have a toggle for this now. Yeah. Actually, let's take, I, can, I can actually do the meme now. I can do the 1980 Roar meme now. <laughs> you guys will go, you guys will go to Borderwise's channel. Uh, you will have fun there. <laughs> you will listen to his music. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I no, love being able to do that. I love being able to do that now. I just looked at my monitor yeah. where I've got your stream up. I was like, oh, hello. There's yeah, you. It's, it's so good. Yeah. There we go. Let's put me back to cover the stats so nobody can see that I'm actually a horrible builder. Um, <laughs> There we go. Okay, right, we can take that toggle off too. I okay. love having the toggles because, like, you know the 1984 meme where it's like the guy on the screen. I don't know where the image is from, but it's like the, like, you will do this. Like, I can actually recreate that meme with my model, and it's so much fun. Neat. <laughs> okay. Dominant as fuck. What the hell? R I B. What if I want to be executed? Oh my god. Hey driver, welcome. How's it going? Mm. Too laggy. Can only be done one at a time. Hey, Rain of the Abyss. Thank you for the follow. Yay. All also, right. I missed another one because we went from 147 to 149. Oh, neat! What? Actually, I didn't know what you just said. <laughs> oh, I just I, I missed a, a, a follower alert on my channel. I am like notorious for missing when people follow, which oh, I have alerts too. set on. I just <laughs> I just missed them. 
I've, I have them set off simply because it's like, well, I'm multitasking enough as it is, and like, I'm going to, I'm just going to miss other things if I try and keep up with that. So, yeah, my bad. If you've if you've ever followed me and uh, you've noticed that I paid no attention whatsoever, please do not take it personally. I am easily distracted, and I was not paying attention. Probably, my bad. Cue everyone unfollowing me. <laughs> <laughs> Unfollow, yeah. Well, to be fair, okay, I'm going to admit this because this was petty as hell of me. So, like, when I first went into your chat a few weeks ago, yeah, like, I had already been following you, obviously. Yeah. Um, and I, I literally unfollowed and then refollowed just so you mentioned it. Hey, JP four five seven. Thank you for the follow. We have hit our follower goal of 150. Let's go. Good day, Colin. We've been playing since 2018. I've never met one before. Oh, uh, yeah, we're around. Pretty record. Hey, it's nice to have you back. I think you've been in chat before. Hey, it's um, me, the regular. Oh, my God. Rory, why, why does your VTuber model look like he's a sociopath? Because it's modeled after me. I literally, I sent my photo of myself to my artist. Uh, 150, let's go! Right. Oh, no, I hasn't updated them before. Never been in chat here before? Oh, well, that wasn't your first time chat, and I recognize your name. So, weird, but... Right, Wilson, don't panic. Oh, I am right. duct taping things to your hull just to see if they're the right size, and it looks yeah, no like worries. they're right size, so that's good. Hell yeah. I can't believe we're actually... Uh, so this is a common fit on my channel, because like I normally have to restart a build multiple times before I get it how I want it to be. Uh, the last like seven builds I've started, though, I've gotten them first try. It's crazy. Hmm. And I feel like this is going to be one of those first try ones, because this is coming along quite nicely so far, this battle. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I've got... Despite popular <laughs> oh, so I've Sorry, got... despite popular belief, Rory is not actually a penguin, we think. <laughs> I did, like... I did have a look at, like, your, um... Your profile picture. I was like, huh, that penguin has serious hair. And that was the extent <laughs> of my thoughts. <laughs> Okay, so I originally was a Piplet profile picture with a Link hat, and Neko saw that, and I was like, oh, you're a penguin. And I was like, yeah, you know what, fine, I'll be a penguin. So he took Cody from Surf's Up, like that expression that my profile picture was on Discord, um, and put Prince Charmin's hair onto it. But he didn't clip it properly, because you can still see Prince Charmin's ears. And it, it just the expression my profile picture on Discord makes is the funniest fucking shit to me. Like, every time I load into a call, it's so funny. Hey, Cringe, thank you for the follow. Cringe, you weren't following before? What the hell? <laughs> wow, <laughs> just like from gratitude to indignation, like, like in second. zero seconds. Also, uh, Question Master 64, tell Borderwise to look at his chat. <laughs> oh, whoops, sorry. Hey, thank you. Sorry. Pretty Wrecker also saying tell Borderwise to check his chat. This collab is getting a shit ton of viewers. Yeah, well, exactly. We're combining okay. all the communities together. Right, I need hey, to. Hey, we can I need to. Thank you so much for the 3D record. Mm. Sorry. I need to. I need to. I, right, I actually need to look at my own chat. Sorry. So if you're up to something cool, you're gonna have to point it out to me. <laughs> so no, I yeah, can no, look at no, it. No, you, you, you read your chat. Here, right. I can mute on Discord to talk to my chat. I have a plugin that lets me uh, mute. Yeah. Sorry, people. Uh, I. I... Do, 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 do. What is it? What is it? Da, da, da. Is anyone asking any questions? All right, so do 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 do. All right, so oh right, Doctor Cruiser subscribed, so that's probably important, and I shouldn't have missed it. Thank you, Doctor Cruiser. All right, Chad is discussing nuclear secrets, and anarchy was planned. Will I have more collabs with Rob? Well, I'm having a whale of a time, so most likely yes. Oh yeah, I'm stealing Borderwise more often. Uh, I'm having so much fun with this. Oh no! And we haven't even got to the building yet, really. We're just <laughs> goofing off. <laughs> we're, we're having too much fun. Okay, uh, focus, focus, focus. Like you're just gonna carry on with the hull, yeah? Yep. Right. Uh, I'm just gonna get the yeah. I'm gonna get the hull blocked out. Good to go. Ugh, I hate that we can't have daytime permanent in multiplayer. That's the one downside the building in multiplayer, admittedly. Oh, is that why the stream I saw not too long ago, like it kept turning to night? Yeah, so you can't, uh... Oh. What's it called? Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, but honestly, like, Potat and I just get used to it. So Potat's one of my total helps that I constantly, uh, stream with, because A, he and I are good friends, and B, it's also, like, we get shit done when we build together. Yeah, I saw that. Like, the stream I saw both of you on, you were getting things done much faster than we are right now. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because, like, you, you and I are, like, I was gonna say catching up, but this is the first time we've actually really talked. So <laughs> it's it's a catch up and also like yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, hello, I'm not Scatter. Thanks for the first time chat. I don't macro. Yay, good to see you. <laughs> the almost free hour progress. Okay, to be fair, Borderwise only got here an hour ago. Also, I think instead of ending my stream early, I'm just going to continue until you end your stream normally. Okay. I'll just do an extra one stream today because I'm having fun with this. Yay. All right, so trying to think of what we're going ahead. Like, um, what's the armor scheme on this thing, do you reckon? Like, how much room <laughs> do we have for fun and activities inside? So, the neat part about how I build is I don't, I almost never build with armor in mind. Ah. So, that's a, yeah, that's up to you. Um, you did, you're the okay. internals guy. I just kind of sit here and make stuff look pretty. Okay, and, so... Uh, so, right, so you're already onto the bit where... Okay, can you give me a rough idea of how wide this thing's gonna be at its widest point, or are we already there? Uh... We're kind of already there. Okay, well... It's 15 wide. Actually, no, 13 wide is going to be its so. widest point. So that gives us enough room for a decent APS. I can take the one off the anglerfish if we need. And yeah, then, that'll uh, actually save a lot of time, so... Yeah, yeah no, let's do that. Yeah, stealing internals is the best way to save time, in my opinion. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Why. Actually, stealing anything, really. I steal decos all the time, because, yeah, that shaves, like, hours off a build, depending on how <laughs> decorated you want it to be. Yep. Yeah, large FTD streamer borderwise admits to steel and designs. Oh. <laughs> we got him, boys. But no. uh, did I say steel? I mean, uh, um, uh, it's very. It's, it's yeah. It's <laughs> covered under fair use. It's nice thing I talked about this last night. It's all fair use. Yeah. <laughs> it's very direct inspiration. That is what I'm gonna go with. Direct inspiration is good. Yeah. No, like... Anytime I like, yeah. Anytime I do it, my chat will go like, "Oh, hit FTD VTuber uh, Royston VT steals designs." It's like no. <laughs> Question Master, oh. I can see chat, and yes, hello, 3D Wrecker. <laughs> chat still thinks I'm not looking at them. I see you! I'm sorry, my chat just goes, wait, why is Borderwise's chat actually talking about separating U23.5 from you? What? I'm going up to your chat. One second, I want to see this. Oh yeah, we're just, they're discussing nuclear physics for some reason. <laughs> there we go. Just go. <laughs> Oi, no nukes. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> they actually are discussing that. That's interesting. Yeah, look, what? Did I'm you think I was exaggerating? <laughs> no, I'm just... <laughs> look, you have to understand, your chat is very comparably smarter than mine, it seems. <laughs> My chat likes to... <laughs> My chat, if I can't get them to stop talking about eating other streamers, they're usually talking about, like, some <laughs> S9 shit. It's weird. <laughs> okay. That's a different chat culture. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay, we have Borderwise here now. I feel like I have to tell you the story from my first stream. Yeah? So, uh, it was like my, no, it was like my third or fourth stream. Bro, <laughs> you want to die? Slowboy, I feel like I have to tell him, because this was kind of on you. Slowboy was the culprit here, actually. He started all this. Okay. Um, and I think you booted up stream just as I was finishing my stream. Yeah? Or, like, we were, we were streaming at the same time, and I was like, oh, cool, Borderwise is streaming. Um... I was sad actually because I think you I think you finished stream before I did that day, so I couldn't go over to your stream and watch it after I was done streaming. No. And my chat was like, "What if we just eat him and take his audience?" And I was like, "What the fuck do you mean?" <laughs> and that's that's like spawned like a um, two month long bit now about Carson constantly beating back the cannibals in my chat. <laughs> <laughs> I just I wanted you to know that you indirectly started that. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. I'm helpful. So this all culminated in Slowboy having a week long timeout for what was it, like 600,000 seconds the other day? Like last week? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and because Carson finally got tired of it, but uh, I just, I feel like you, I feel like you ought to know this story just because you indirectly had a hand in starting it, even though you didn't mean to, obviously. Got it. <laughs> I was, I was That's direct inspiration, point. let's say. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, uh, in uh, long story short, I had to prevent my chat from eating you. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm glad you succeeded. <laughs> it's hard to make canoes when you've been eaten. Also, yeah, 3D Wrecker, by all means, Wrecker channel update. By the way, people, 3D Wrecker also is uh, making From the Depths content as well. Oh like, yeah, we're, okay. we're all uh, here on, today. On Twitch. Uh, I think uh, on, on YouTube. Twitch or on YouTube. On YouTube, I reckon. I'll give a shout out. I'll give a shout out on Twitch anyway. Yay. Right, so... There we one. go. I hope that's the right one. There we go. Yay. <laughs> if, Wait, if we can just do right that? One, that's just some ran yeah, that's just some random person who's about to get a lot of followers. 
How do you do that, actually? How do you do the shout-out thing? Oh, uh, slash shout-out, and then type in their name exactly as Ow. it is. I want to do that, too. So it's just slash, yeah, slash shout-out. It's like Minecraft command, like console commands. It's really nice. Uh, same mm. thing with raids. So, like, if, like, say, for example, if you want to raid someone after you're done streaming to keep the good times going, uh, you do slash raid, type in their channel username, oh. and then that will automatically set up a raid. So that's how I raided you yesterday. I figured out what happened though, is what happened with your raids and why I couldn't raid you in the past was because you weren't following me, and you probably have your raid settings to only people you follow can raid you. Yeah, I which fixed honestly that now. is, Yeah, which honestly is probably smart, yeah. <laughs> because, uh, let's be honest, but, yeah, like, I've gotten some, uh, I've gotten a few raids in the past, and, like, I've seen other channels get raids from a complete randoms just trying to clout chase. Oh, which, yeah, that's what I do. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, you'll just like find, yeah. Yeah, I'll just find like a recommended channel in my in my sidebar, and I'll be like, all right, we're raiding them. Let's go steal our viewers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Enjoy I'm figuring out what I need to do here because, like, the anglerfish, you've got the blueprint for that, yeah. Oh, uh, the anglerfish, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why well, right, do we need, do we need the anglerfish? Well, it's just oh, uh, one second. I, it's for well, the turret, yeah. The, yeah, I have the turret here. Anglerfish. Anglerfish. Okay, it's a five. It's a, yeah, it's a five by five at the widest. Uh, actually, this. Ooh, this is gonna. Okay, we may have to make the hull a bit deeper because this sits pretty high up. And okay, actually, if we just move it back a little bit, we can sink it into the. It's like that, that's pretty much like the lowest point we can get it at. Okay, so just looking so we, at we can, the. I mean, wait a minute. Unless you want to edit it to make it shorter, but. I mean, we could probably make it a wee bit shorter because at the height it is uh, right now, it's gonna like essentially be taller than the superstructure if we're still modeling this uh, thing on the plane view. So yeah, but that's what I'm worried about, right? So yeah, all right. You keep working on the hull. I'm just going to clip this turret down a little bit. Whoops, never mind. Here's, oh, sorry. I'll, <laughs> sorry. I'll just. I'm gonna put the base of it where I think it should go, and then you can clip it down from there. Okay. Yep. All that right. Yep. That okay. makes perfect sense. Yeah. Most of that. Yeah. Most of that turret neck is just armor anyway, with a few uh, gauge coolers. Yep. So, all right. Should be able to rework that. I perfect. need to drop this by one, two, three. Back to the four. back to the hull mines. Back to the hull mines. Tink, tink, tink goes the pickaxe okay, on this, the hull mines. Yeah. Okay. We want this to be about sixty-seven. So. Two, three, four. Here we go. <laughs> is <laughs> border-wise, this ship hull about sixty-seven. <laughs> Wait, who the hell Sorry, said so that? <laughs> I, I'm saying that. I'm laughing at right. my joke. <laughs> no. Don't mock me because I'm old. <laughs> you damn kids! <laughs> you don't know what it's like! <laughs> Back in my day. Back in my day, the multiplayer didn't work. <laughs> Back in my day, multiplayer was on dial up. <laughs> Unironically, having to explain to people having to like figure out nat punch through was insane. Yeah. <laughs> I do sometimes look Ooh. at um things like the save icon for like literally well, every time you save a digital file, and it's like, do do the kids know what that is? Like, do they get it? <laughs> I mean they I probably they could. It, yeah, not immediately. Like, well, to be fair, like, even me, like, I notice this with uh, a lot of technology that is even, like, I'm pretty tech-savvy myself. Yeah. But, like, I have some days nowadays where, like, someone will be like, oh, yeah, just, like, like self-checkout at grocery stores. I refuse to touch that shit. Oh, I like, love I'm, those. I agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm with the, no, I'm with the boomers on that one. Like, I am not doing my own checkout at a grocery store. I'm with the boomers on that one. Really? <laughs> Interesting. I just, I'm not a fan. Yeah. Like, it's just, I don't know, because, like, the tech always breaks for me because I'm, like, a walk-in EMP device. It sucks. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> You laugh, but it's like genuinely a problem I have. It sucks. I mean, I have days where I feel like that, where the computer's like, Sorry, you breathed funny. I'm not gonna work now. Yeah. Yeah, you get it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Alright. Gonna be eyeballing okay. the plane view. Where does the um, thing go? It would... goes about here. Explain that punch route? Okay, so... It's essentially you are forcefully punching a hole for your firewall and your port forward and apparatus in order to make a peer-to-peer -peer connection. Uh, it never worked. And the one time I got it to work with uh, Chuck Buntley, who should be in chat still, uh, it immediately crashed. <laughs> so, it's just not good. Hmm. Alright, so we've got the 
main hydrofoil arms here, we're probably going to sink them into the hull a little bit, because at the moment it looks like they just kind of are stuck on with bubblegum. So, they're just here yeah, now, so we know where they are. Sounds good. We can, e. yeah, we can always integrate them later, too. Don't, yeah. There's no worries there. Okay, that's 66, so we'll do... Uh... So, if you look at the back of the craft here, this is what I was talking about earlier, where it's like, it's literally the exact same pattern as the, the bow, almost. The only difference is I uh, just made it... Oh, oh that's metal. Well, whoopsie. I was I'm about so to say, to... what? <laughs> there you go. So you can see how it's similar to the stern in shaping, but the slight difference of how much flat space you have is the real game changer, and it makes it look like a stern. Yeah, it's just, you know, karate chop the point off, and like, there it is. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Imagine it's, it's if really that's nice, how like, it's built. <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah, they're just like, oh, shit, we built two bows, and like, well, we can't recast it, just chop. <laughs> I mean, I think if you go searching through, like, naval history, you will find examples not too far off from that. I've been watching a YouTube channel called, what's it? Ocean Liner Designs, I think it is, and there's oh, just... Oh, yeah, 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 I love that it, channel. Yeah, it's so good! <laughs> Like, it's just that it's... I love the finding a historical thing, which is an area of history that I've never really heard of before. And there's so much that goes into big ships and just the complete shenanigans throughout history of, like, just trying to get the damn ship to work and do it how you want it to. It's almost like it's real life from the depths, basically. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, uh, one of my ever favorite channels. So I do like I look into like a lot of the weird Cold War and World War Two channels that like do like oh like this weird tank from the Cold War because I use it a lot for inspiration for uh, for FTD builds. Like I watch a lot of Mustard. I watch a lot of uh, freaking love Rex's Mustard. Hainer. Rex's ha yeah, Rex's Hainer is fantastic. Mustard is such a good channel as well. Yeah. Like a lot of Deepwater Guard was inspired because Mustard made a video on it, and I was like, oh cool, that's a great idea. Wait, on the Deepwater Guard? He's done that? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, a lot of the designs I have in the pipeline right now are uh, based off of stuff I found from Mustard. Aside from that, Command and Conquer Generals is always a fantastic source for inspiration. Man, oh yeah, I love that game. Uh, did I do this wrong? I feel like I did this wrong. Nah, never mind. I can never do anything wrong. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, talk yourself out. When in doubt, yeah, yeah, exactly. When in doubt, like, just don't be. <laughs> when in doubt, just stop. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Anxiety? Knock it off. <laughs> Depression? Just cheer up! <laughs> True, just be happy, Wamau. <laughs> and they'd like that, like, in case anyone's wondering, for the love of everything, do not say that to someone with clinical depression. It does not help. <laughs> no, it does not help. Also, if you if you yourself are struggling from it, uh, reach out. It's always a good idea. Yeah, get help. Like, you know, and I mean that in a nice way, not the, like, get yeah. help. What's wrong Mental with you? Health, it, yeah. Mental health is insanely important, and keeping yeah. your mental health maintained is the best way to live a happy life. Oh yeah. Like, make brain happy. True. Brain make the happy chemical. Yeah. Brain make happy <laughs> chemical, um, and if it don't make happy chemical, no happy result. This is math. <laughs> if, it, if, if, if it don't make if it don't make the happy chemical bad brain. Bad brain. <laughs> bad. Smack that brain, teacher. <laughs> don't smack your brain. <laughs> Reminds me of the one time I think he was responsible for a new concussion trend. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like the Tide Pod challenge, except it's the hammer challenge. It's hit yourself over the head with a oh, hammer. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, hey man, you didn't. We didn't tell you to do that. We just said it was really cool, and we got millions of views in doing it. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay, what am I doing here? What awful Spending things we say. Four meter? And... <laughs> right. I... Mental health and physical health are both connected, so be sure to have a nice shower. That's true. Like, for me, for example, I... <laughs> this is such a stupid example, but I, I will give an example so I can be that cool, relatable streamer that everyone loves. Uh... <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so for me, for example, like, I had a really bad... I was depressed. Oh, my stream just froze? Hello? No. Wait, no, I should have been looking at chat. No, Crap! Our stream died. No! My bitrate! No! Quick, everyone like watch me instead. <laughs> did your stream... My stream's fine. Wait, did your stream die as well, or is it just my stream dying? I think it's just yours, mine, mine okay, seems to be going is... fine. Is... Okay, my stream is back. Yeah, I had the... Okay, unfortunately, I... Yeah, okay. 
So mine's back. I unfortunately can't wolf stream in with YouTube Studio because it seems to cut out. Oh. This, is a, this is a me issue, guys. One second. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try and refresh. Oh, it's back. Have you done the raid or whatever? No. Uh, oh no, I gave you a shout out for your record. I'm I'm not doing a raid right now. Raids are at the end yeah. of the stream because it sends all my viewers over to you. Yeah, also, sorry, a 3D record you also have for to be saying. Streaming in order for a raid to go through. Yeah, also, sorry for making, like, saying you were on YouTube rather than Twitch. My bad. Although, I think you were on both, so that's all good. I hope. Already on Twitch? Okay, good. Okay, yeah. okay. Is my stream back? Is it. Hey, okay, my stream's back. Good, good, good. Oh my god, yep. that was worrying. Every. Like, my, my ISP refuses to. So the, the time I stream at it is like when everyone gets home from school, which means, like, at least where I live, which means that the ISPs immediately throttle everyone because they're like, oh, we have, like, people, you know, coming back from work or school, so they throttle everyone because they're fucking scoundrels. And um, it's Wait. very annoying to stream during this time, but it's, like, the most convenient time to stream. Yeah. My time zone gives me a little bit of an advantage because, like, I stream in the morning, so, like, it's Saturday morning for me right it's now, and... Hopefully everyone's sleeping in and not using the freaking internet, so the times I've been in the evening, it just, it's like, it has not worked. It has not worked at all. Mm -hmm. Right, so... I'm sorry. The... You okay sorry, over there? Uh, <laughs> I heard a noise outside my window. I looked outside and I just saw a fire truck skidding down the road. Oh. I'm not sure what happened there. And honestly, at this point, I'm not gonna ask. But <laughs> hey, frat bro, cat bro, thank you for following. Oh my god, I got so many more followers when I was uh, like, Rorstein was dead. Oh, hmm. If the pattern recognition is, we need more drama. Quick, make the stream go down again. <sighs> Don't do that. Why? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call it my own chat here. My first two, uh, my first two, like, I want to say my first week of streaming. Sorry, not first two, but. First week of streaming, uh, what would happen is anytime I'd like take, because I normally take a break around the two, two and a half hour mark uh, for my streams. Yep. And so uh, what I what I would do usually is uh, I would like, put it back on the main menu so that people could have something entertaining when I go take a break, right? Yeah. Uh, we call, yeah, we call it this main menu time. People love it. I got to make a redeem for it so people can redeem it whenever they want. Um, but it's so funny because my highest peak, like my peak viewership would occur during main menu time. I would come back and like five people would leave. What? I was like, were you guys just here to watch the main menu? You know, you can boot up the game yourself if you want to do that, right? Like, you don't need me. <laughs> oh, that's just, that is unfortunate. Just like, like oh, they just, they I, hop in and they see the, like, you know, the fun explosions and then you come back and they're like, oh, oh, and then they leave. That's rude. But the funny thing is, like, this, this was when I was playing like custom campaigns, so it's not like, uh, oh, haha, ha, Bilden's born. It was like, no, they just didn't want to... Neko Boy Blue just subscribed. Oh my god, we finally got him to pay me, let's go. Yay! Neko Boy Blue is one who got me into streaming, and he refused to subscribe, but thank you, Neko. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Neko was literally telling me last night at, like, 5 a.m. saying, like, I'm never gonna pay you. <laughs> well there. We got him. Got him. Somebody was telling fibs. <laughs> but uh, going back to my story, because I can't tell a story to save my life, apparently. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so like for like, the first week of streaming, like every day I had to experience ego death of like people didn't care about me, they just wanted main menu time. <laughs> no. There is and a lot of ego nowadays, death when you start streaming. No. No. Okay. Uh, my chat is asking about uh, SeaWiz on the Stern, which is actually what I was thinking. Um, not, not a bad idea, let's do it. Yeah, so, oh, do, like, pla like, 3 to Record is suggesting Plasma SeaWiz, which isn't ideal SeaWiz, but I know it's uh, cool, though, is the thing. <laughs> it is cool. I love that pew pew. Mm. So, you want. This is kind of like your Cold War faction, which just kind of means that this is going to be similar to your equivalent for. Uh, for Steel Striders, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Also, I should mention it's like futuristic Cold War, big inverted commas, which means they get to play with like lasers and plasma and particle cannons as well. So okay, cool. It's not like uh, it's like if you think of like Space Battleship Yamato, it's kind of like that, except not quite that much. <laughs> okay, so I have an idea then. 
Oh, uh, really? What? So we have a sea plane tender. Yeah, what if we put the sea whiz on the plane that's on the tender and then have it fly around like a defense drone? Like, like uh, what's it called? I don't know if you've ever played, uh, like, carrier command games. I have You know not. how you can, like, set up some... Okay, so you know how, like, there's a concept where you send up fighters to provide a screen for your carrier? Okay, then. So what if we set up the sea whiz on the plane and then have the plane circle the, the sea plane tender? Hmm... That, like, I have literally never tried that, like... Have you tried that? Does that work? I've never tried it. I've, I've never tried it. That's what I'm saying. We could try it. Uh -huh. be a gimmick. Cause I, so, um, I got this from fellow Kotal Carbenko, and I think his design philosophy for designs makes a lot of sense to me. It's like, we could make stuff meta, but making stuff meta or like, you know, like function really well isn't always the goal. Sometimes you just want the fight to be fun. Exactly. And imagine you're Imagine you're going against the design, right? And like it's kind of like it's hydrofoiling around. It's it's going in and out. I'm watching my VTuber model like move as I'm talking to my hands, and it's really distracting. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it would be really cool. Like imagine you come up upon this boat. Like the boat's modern around, and like it has a plane circle. And anytime you try to fire a missile, the plane takes out the missile. So like, okay, now new goal. We have to take out the missile before the boat takes out us. Where we have to take out the plane before the boat takes out us, and then we can take out the boat after we take out the plane. It's really cool. Hmm. Yeah, we, we, we want to make this thing at least somewhat memorable. We also need to make sure this thing is kind of rear heavy because uh, the presumably back in the 60s they had reasons uh, for putting the hydrofalls where they did on the plain view, but it does look, it looks like it would pitch forward all the time. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to just figure that so out with, when we get to it. Yeah, looking on the plain view, judging by how ground uh, GEV works, uh, the, the nose will actually, you're gonna want a spoiler on the back to keep the nose, um, up. Or sorry, to keep it down. Because right now it seems to me like with the, the speed this would go at, it would actually, uh, want to pitch up more than pitch down. Oh, blah, speaking of speed, I forgot to put bloody, like, propellers on the hydroboil pods. Hang on. Yeah, I was about, I was about to ask that. But yeah, what do you think of the stern? What do you think of the, the bow so far? It's a little bit bathtubish in my mind, but I think it works for our design. I think that works just fine, just comparing it to the... There's only one bloody picture of the plane view I'm looking at. It's not the best angle either. Yeah, it's, I know, also, it's the Wikipedia one, yeah? It's also in <laughs> it's black like and white, one. which is not helpful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Actually, I, find the, I find the high contrast helps a lot with building it. Yeah, true. The plane, sh the plane should probably monocide. That's a great idea. All right, or monocide. So are you thinking that like the plasma gun will be sticking out the side of the plane? Yeah, kind of like an AC-130, but float plane. Okay, gotcha. It's going to be tiny, though, is the thing. Uh, no it doesn't, because, so, essentially, we'll have, okay, I'm gonna block out some concepts here. Uh, okay. we can have to move that rear hydrofoil, by the way. Alright, I'll get okay rid of I'll get rid of it. Uh, so Boop. what we'll do, like, let's, I'll use this metal to block, uh, I'll use blue Boop. metal to block out what I'm talking about. Like, let's say this is the superstructure, uh, obviously, again, this is, like, super rough blocking out. Let's say it does something like, I don't know, like, here. Like, that's the superstructure. What we'll do is we'll have the plane, uh, sit on, like, a little loading bay like maybe at this green pillar uh like here and then okay. we'll have it and then essentially what will happen is its winds will go out with the red pillars so imagine its winds come out from here yeah and then its its floats act as extra buoyancy for the hydrofoil until we release it oh so essentially you're using the uh, the shape of the floats and the winds will essentially lock the design into but it's tender point, okay. and then once you release that, it can just fall off the back and then take off that way. Hmm. So it doesn't. You can actually make it larger than the boat, because the boat is just carrying the fuselage. The winds carry themselves. Also, Monster Kicker zero two seven. That is a fantastic name, and thank you for the follow up. Yay, Monster Kicker! <laughs> I've said the same thing about Monster Kicker's username. It's just also, great. <laughs> also, also, Monster Kicker. I hardly know her, but <laughs> the brain rot is real. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where's the maintenance facilities? Well, that's the other part I was going to add on, is we can use, like, a little trench area. You know how, like, some mechanics have, like, the little under areas where you go underneath to get to the underside of a car? We could put those on the back of the ship as well to show, like, little maintenance facilities for the seaplane. What do you think about? That sounds pretty good. Like, that is getting into a le level of aesthetics, which I usually never get around to doing, so... Let's just go for so, it. But, <laughs> yeah, so the neat, the neat part about it is... In terms of like levels of aesthetics, you don't really need to do that all that much. So the Chimera actually does this really well. It has a few focal points, but it yeah. also has a lot of empty space. But the empty space is done correctly because, so like for example, the front you have the anchors, 
uh, which is like a big focal point, and then you go to the turret, and there's only empty space in between. And then the turrets are a focal point, and then you get to the superstructure and the runway. And so, actually, Inky Boy did fantastic here. Just, Someone get back to him and like tell him that this is yeah. fantastic. Not to play favorites, uh, but this is legit one of my favorite Soul Republic designs. Yeah. It's just yeah. it nails. I will it. play favorites. Yeah, I will play favorites. Uh, the rest of you do better. <laughs> <laughs> We have a yeah. Also, my chat was wondering earlier if you want to join me for roast and roasts at the end of stream. I actually do. Um, That'd be fun. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Because I wasn't quite sure if you like wanted to roast your viewers or not. Uh, I don't know if you have a Discord server. I have but... a I have a Patreon uh, Discord server. Uh, my you do? Public... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, in that case, so <laughs> I'm gonna shill a little bit here. If you guys want Borderwise and I to roast your designs tonight. Uh, in my about section, I have a Discord channel link. You can go join my Discord channel, and then there's a submission area called Roast Submission. I ask that it's one BP, like it's one blueprint per person per stream. But if you want your design reviewed on stream today, you can go throw it in there. Uh, Carson, if we have a big influx of the Discord server, if people are interested in that, uh, you can just put like a little message in general explaining how to do it, so I don't have to constantly repeat it for when people trickle in. Uh, let me know how that goes. Sorry, I had a total message. You yeah, need to sure. roast this canoes. Oh, you guys want me to roast Borderwise? <laughs> I'm I'm fine I with can't. that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Borderwise, if you want to throw your hat in the ring, let me know. But, uh... I'm not sure, like, which... What would be... What would, like, smell the best when it's roasted that I've done? <laughs> what would smell the best? <laughs> I'm just gonna look in my folder here... The problem is, is that a lot of my finished designs are like kind of out of date anyway. It's a uh, wait a minute. That's oh no! The, oh goes. no! We have delicious. Uh, we have delicious roasts in here. I think. Ooh. Yeah, we got a, we got a few. <laughs> <laughs> Bongo, just because you're a subscriber does not mean you're safe from uh, Carson. Yeah. It can't be worse than Apertures. That's so mean. Apertures doing his best. Oh. He has three different CCs. <laughs> oh. No, he does use up props though, so like honestly, gank him. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, first time chat in my chat, Andrew Dornbringer. Good to see you live, otherwise. Oh. Good to see you here at the live. That makes that sense. <laughs> what, the, what the hell? He's not in my chat. <laughs> oh, Bongo just got timed out for ten minutes. Oh no. <laughs> Can we get a Borderwise versus Roast and Roast stream? That could be interesting in the future, yeah. As in like, we roast uh, each it, other's it, designs? <laughs> yeah, Borderwise will, and I would gladly collab more in the future. It's fantastic. Hell yeah. You uh, just gained your 76 YouTube sub. Ironically enough, back when I used to do YouTube, I did YouTube from 2014 to 2018. I think my peak was at like 120 subs. That's and then not it, bad. I've lost, obviously, since I went to university. But now that I'm getting back into content creation, I really should actually use my YouTube more. But I. Editing videos is such a time slog compared to streaming, because streaming I can just boot up, do three and a half hours, and then I'm done. Like, yeah. there's no, like, real time commitment. Yeah, it's convenient Where like that. Like... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like, do you, yeah, uh... Yeah, these collabs are fun. Oh, yeah. Do you upload your, uh, your VODs, uh, anywhere? Uh, I upload my VODs, or I was gonna upload my VODs on YouTube, but I'm gonna make a separate VODs channel compared to my main channel. Yeah, And then move my plan. VODs over there. Yeah. I um, asked people if I should have done that, but uh, people said, nah, your videos are as long as streams anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's not... true, yeah, because, yeah, the way you edit videos, it's, uh, like, I like your one-form content, though. It's nice to have one in the background as I build. Oh, uh, yeah. Whereas, like, I prefer to have, like, my main channel content. I want it to be edited down and like, quick and witty and snappy. Yeah, which is the better that's, way that's to the do it, generally. I like. Yeah. Yeah. My videos have gotten shorter, like, for the record, like, I... It's been a long time, I think, since... I might be a complete hypocrite here. I think it's been a long time since, since I've uploaded a non-stream video that's over an hour. Looking here... Yeah, it's been... Yeah, because you've been, been getting it down to like 45 minutes lately, haven't you? Yeah, I have gotten much I better. Yeah. I am determined to waste people's time less. <laughs> I'm determined to do it more now because you're not doing it anymore. <laughs> Hell yeah, we can I, I, will, I, will I will finish what you, yeah, I will finish what you started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm trying to figure out, like, the plasma gun that's gonna be on the seaplane, so... Oh, I'm trying to do the wave breaker, not... You don't need a wave breaker, we're not gonna have wave... I guess I gotta do it, damn it. 
I mean, the also, plain view doesn't really have one because it doesn't need one. Oh damn it! I, I know, but I keep forgot. in mind we're not building the plain. Yeah, keep in mind we're not building the plain view. We're building the say wall Republic uh, hydrofoil. You know what yeah. I mean? So like, what's like, a, what's a common like what's a common design feature for say wall Republic? Is there anything that keeps it consistent between the two, like between different designs? Now that is an excellent question. Because um, I'll, I'll soapbox after you explain, but. Mm, Kind of no, it's like, apart from the general, like, aesthetic guides, not really. What is a common thing? I'm just gonna look and see if my memory gets jogged uh, by the stuff in me folder. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Yeah, I'm gonna mute quickly to talk to chat. Okay. Alright, I'm back. Yay! Um, had to quickly explain why I roasted the hell out of someone yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Which, to be fair, if you submit to a series called Roast and Roast, I feel like you should kind of expect it. Yeah, that's it's that's one of the things It's like, what did you expect, guys? Like, really, yeah, no, now. Actually, that's, a, that's something I should edit into, uh, like, lawn-forming quotation mark content. I should just upload Roast and Roast sections of the VOD. Yeah. Alright, and, and to answer your question, there's not anything really that's, like... Consistent between the designs, apart from like the overall, I guess aesthetic, cold like style? yeah, Cold War, like real, like uh, what's what's damn it, what's the word you used? It wasn't oh plausibility. Plausibility, yeah. So it's like it yeah. looks like a thing that if you magically teleported it into the real world, it would at least float. That kind of thing. Yeah. So like for example, the Chimera. This makes sense because like it's a it's a battle it's a battle carrier which I fucking love battle carriers. Yeah. It doesn't make sense in the real world doctrine wise, but like it could work if you had the proper doctrine for it. Yeah. What the hell would the doctrine for a battle carrier be? <laughs> uh, point at the enemy and watch them cry. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, that's just it. <laughs> oh, it does work. Yeah. If if you're having a lot of uh, latency on the stream, just uh, refresh it. My Wi-Fi is being a little bit at, like, acting up silly today, so... Battle carriers can never work? False. Has... actually, has anyone ever actually, tried making them? Uh, like, the Soviets did. Uh, of course uh, they did. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, I think the... not the Kutsanov class, but the, uh... Oh, what is it? They're called aviation cruisers. Hmm. Uh, and they're really cool, they're really cool, because it's like a heavy cruiser, but it has like... Two main guns and then the uh, the flight deck. Uh, yeah, the Kiev class. The yeah, the Kiev class. Um, it's really cool. I'm gonna build one sometime because I want to do aviation cruisers for my custom uh, Deepwater Guard sub faction. Okay, I'm looking at the Kiev. This thing. Hold on a minute. Aircraft carrier, heavy aircraft cruiser. Like it just. Oh, there it is. I saw yeah, the gun cool, on it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this just looks like an aircraft carrier, and then suddenly you see, like, the freaking autocannon um, towards <laughs> the bowward side. It's like, oh, right, no, this thing is meant to shoot at things, isn't it? Yeah, suddenly gun. Suddenly gun. <laughs> Borderwise looking at a Wikipedia article, most Americans in their day-to-day, -day, suddenly gun. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay. okay, so how, how did Inky Boy do the... So, see, the, the real plan here is we'll get most of this done, but otherwise, and then we hand it off to Inky Boy, because he's already proven that he can do well with the style. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah, hope... That, that's how... I hope they're up for it. Them. Yeah, I hope they've got the spare time to, like, uh... do this. I have been meaning to, like... Get into the uh, campaign, dis the well, the Kanuma again Discord, and say like, right, uh, you, you have been enlisted to make this thing I've made actually look good, because <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> that is the one nice thing about being. This is gonna sound horrific. The it is one of the nice perks about being a streamer is that people like do things get more, for you. Like, ex <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
There's no way to save us for it's like it doesn't sound horrifically manipulative. But uh <laughs> But people, actually, it's it's yeah. nice because like it means like there's more exposure for your projects and people will go like, oh hey, like yeah I can do that. I was like, oh that's so cool. Yeah. I mean it's not like it doesn't sound that manipulative. It's like it'd be really manipulative if it was like, right, I don't have to do anything now, I'm going to fob this off on other people. And like, but still take credit. But yeah. oh yeah, like that's the important thing. Shouldn't take credit for yeah. uh, for things you didn't do. That's rude. 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 Plagiarism is bad. Yes, it's and not. Cr and cringe. Yeah, <laughs> it's not like direct inspiration, which is totally fine. <laughs> yeah, direct inspiration and fair use is perfectly fine. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> okay, how big? Do I... I'm calling this a wave breaker, but I'm gonna like do like a nice little. Front bit here, just because I I do it on all my deep water guard designs, and I quite like yeah. the design motif. Uh, I've never done it with alloy before, but it's so weird. Yeah, it's like what I'm pretty used to building in like most materials, but yeah, I think it's like, like heavy armor. Like when I start like making stuff that uses that, I might my, my there's a circuit in my brain just, which is just like. Um, I can't just stick this anywhere, can I? I have to be very restrained with this. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I have to think about this one. All right. Also, <laughs> teaching borderwise the way of the code. <laughs> just delegate everything. Yeah, it's just like you know what? I'm just gonna like you do it. Whatever it is, you do it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Can I have two? Can I have two submissions? If so, how good's your CP? Uh, CPU. What's that? No, essentially, uh, it's one submission per person, Fluffy, especially because we have such a massive, like, viewership today. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I don't mind doing more than one if it's, like, a small day, but we actually have a... Oh, actually, yeah, that seaplane tender monkey man that you posted is... Instead of having the crane at the back, though, it's just going to hard launch off the back. But that's pretty much what I was looking for, yeah. Here, I'll, I'll forward these to you, uh, otherwise. E. Uh, oops, I should have been looking at my hey. chat. <laughs> Fluffy says, Driver, want an instant headache? Unmute one of the streams. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that would be a seizure. Yeah, that would not be. <laughs> and I, also, like, even listening to my own stream sometimes, I'm like, oof. Yeah. It's, it's tough. Are you not used to hearing your own voice? <laughs> I'm used to hearing my own voice. It's just um, trying to like talk while also having the stream active is difficult. Oh uh, yeah. You gotta... You gotta... You gotta, you gotta mute that. It is the only way. Also, Question Master says, Heavy armor bricks are the way. No humbug like restraint allowed. <laughs> eh. Fringe. Mm. Okay. Uh, do we want a wood deck? Does the camera have a wood deck? Oh, based it does. Wood deck is the best. Uh, actually, is that reinforced or wood? I'm trying That's to remember what the wood. hell the plain view had. The plain view certainly did not have a wood deck, but, um... I think that's a common motif that we should keep, though. That's having the wood decks. Good point. Not all of them have it, but yeah. Because like it's it sounds really silly. Like going like oh yeah like you know if they all keep a wood deck then it makes more sense. Also, did he do a stagger or no? Oh thank God he didn't do a stagger. <laughs> would that be bad? <laughs> no. So uh, essentially, Deepwater Guard, if you look at all, a lot of their like battleships. Uh, all the decks have staggered wood, which means you have to do like a pattern, and it's like, it's annoying trying to get the pattern to work all the time. I have Whereas wondered just, about that. It's just, yeah. it's yeah. it's a detail that not a lot of people like realize, and like, even I miss it sometimes because I just won't be paying attention. But uh, there we go. What do you think of the front? What's been happening over that, here? Maybe too thick, honestly. Now that I think Ooh. about it, but. Oh yeah, that thing. That yeah, that. Yeah, I'm is. not a fan of it. Yeah, nah, it is a me, little let thick. Let yeah, let me let me let me recook this one. Let him cook. <laughs> Dude. All right, I'm just going to go over here, and I'm going to try to remember ahead of time to set up the propulsion on this so that it actually is. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, it responds to the correct input? Because I think I just did them backwards. It re is responsive the word you're looking for? <laughs> yeah. I think? I don't know. I'm actually past the point where I would usually do an ad break, so... 
Oh, are you? We, we can we can take a break if you. Yeah, can. I'll just or run two minutes of ads. Get my totally not sponsored soft drink. Everyone, um, yeah. well, like I'll, I don't know. If yeah, you, I'll, I'll keep going on my side because I did a break just before you joined. Yeah, but, so mute uh, my stream if you want. Uh, look at Roston's stream, or you can magically watch uh, Roston make the bow look super pretty on my stream while country music plays. Yeah. Whatever one yeah. you prefer. <laughs> I highly recommend not coming to my stream because you're gonna hear just me talking about like the most asinine shit when he's gone. <laughs> By asinine, you mean entertaining, right? Okay. I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. All right. Two minutes of ads starting now. Be sure to report what ads you see. Soft drink time. All right. I will see you later. All right, chat. Now that I have now that I have you right where I want you. Uh... <laughs> Alrighty, how's everyone doing today? It's uh, I haven't actually gotten to read much chat because I'm having a great time talking to Borderwise. So, it's actually, the first time we've talked, I think. So, uh, if you have the engine the way so it first floats off and then takes off, uh, essentially what we're going to be using the speed from the hydrofoil to give the the lift and the winds that it needs. Um, and now I claim credit for the whole idea. Hey, I already said seaplane tender before you chimed in. Nice try, buddy. Um, or unstaggered wood deck. Hey, it's the design style. It's not mine. Uh, at least you staggered wood. Yeah, I normally do it as well. Unstaggered equals unfollowed. It's, but no, please, it's not my choice. I'm innocent. What did I come I back to? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're saying they're gonna unfollow because the wood's unstaggered. Oh no! So mean! <laughs> oh, oh no! Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Anyway, cracks open soft drink. Okay, I redesigned the front and I think I kinda like this better. That does look- that does look good. It just, it's a little bit simpler, it's not as thick, but it still has, like, that nice, uh... <laughs> that niceness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's way better than what I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. Do you know a good way to do bigger planes on winds, aka metal winds? Uh, put the winds in the middle. Or alternatively, just... Yeah, there's tons of different ways. So, the way I normally... So, I do really do more small planes, um... But what I also like doing lately is putting, like, sandwiching the winds in the middle and then making three, three tall winds. And then that way you can do a lot of details on them and add a lot of hard points for weapons. Uh, the other way I tend to do it is I will just do one tall winds, have the wind blocks in the middle, and then really thicken out the sides, and then you can just deco over top of the winds. Uh, there's tons of different ways to do it. But... What if is you... going on in... Oh my god, chat is like actually storing today. <laughs> if you really want to um, have big wings on something, and you... Want, don't want to futz around with the blocks, you could always just make a deco wedge of the whole damn thing. But That's people true. might uh, not want to do that. <laughs> here, I'm going to quickly spawn in the Shrike. We're deep under guard team, so I'll do that. I love shooting just at the Shrike. It's great fun. <laughs> just just, just going to quickly slap an A on this and put this in God mode before I accidentally mess up everything yep. before us. Uh, yeah, Fluffy that says that one of the pieces of wood is the wrong way round uh, on the oh, bow, yeah, so I'm I'll not be seeing it. I know, I'm gonna be fixing that, that yeah. right? I just, uh, I do a lot of the... Okay, so let's look at the Shrike and... Actually, let's look at the Gotha. So, one of the ways you can do this is how I did it on the Gotha here. Uh, I love being able to just like open the game and pick out designs I've made to use as examples. That so is I did convenient. a biplane here. Yeah, I did a biplane here. Uh, this was my first design ever in game, actually, the Gotha here. But, uh, look at those offer tags. But unfortunately, when I migrated my account to my new PC, it changed my offer and ID, and I'm so sad. But, uh, but yeah, so... Essentially, what you're looking at here is you could do thicker wins this way, but just making more sets of wins. Uh, I've been trying to build a tandem win aircraft that swaps between airplane and submarine mode for Deepwater Guard and KW for a while now. Um, but, so that's one way you can do it, and the way I like to do my wins is wedges on the front for aerodynamics, the wind blocks, and then... Uh, what I did in the past was slopes. Uh, this was- I haven't updated the Gothia yet to have that, but I'll be doing slopes on the back to make it look more like a wind shape. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Mm. What you can do too with the Shrike is... Cause like, how much bigger are you imagining here? Uh, one of the lines is thicker in the air. Yeah, it's- don't worry about the Gothia, I need to rework it. How do you fuck up unstaggered? <laughs> I just deco to win since win is too narrow and one meter to fix, so you can also make round edges. Yeah, it just depends on what you mean by big wins, that's all. Question for this oh, design, right. are we risking having the bottom hull just be one meter thick? 
Uh, honestly, I I normally build land vehicles these days, so I don't really think about that because it's not it doesn't normally come up as an issue. Yeah, because deep Dustwind's not allowed to have IEDs yet, unfortunately. Ow. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, literally half my like half my own my own little custom sub faction in Dustwind, like the Sand Scorpions, is literally just GLA from Command and Conquer. Nice. Like, if you look at the Kopesh, that's just a Marauder tank. Now that you <laughs> mention it, yes. Yeah, yeah Sand Raider. That's a technical. <laughs> uh, I haven't got the quad cannon in game yet, but I, I want to make a quad cannon. Oh, I love. Uh, just... When I played Command and Conquer Generals back in the day, I literally just spanned quad cannons and nothing else because. Especially when you upgrade them, they literally tear anything to pieces. <laughs> like, and they're yeah. just so good against aircraft as well. They, they were ridiculously good units. Oh, also, chat was gas gaslighting us. Or I didn't even fuck up the deco pattern. Are uh, you so serious? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's... Chat! Fucking Who's... Chat. That's your chat who did that. <laughs> I think. I'm it just is, gonna no, assume that. Right. Who, what, yeah, he, right, who is that? That's a 600 second timeout. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all Y'all really thought this was like a nice... No, this is a authoritarian chat. Uh, what Carson says goes, what I say goes. <laughs> yeah. We're not democratic like borderwise over there. We're uh... Yeah. I'm barely <laughs> yeah, democratic the... as, it, as it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm democratic when it works. <laughs> <laughs> That's... That's incredible. Yeah, I want to be democratic if it works. The moment it stops working, out. Yeah, it's like, it so works when it, it works when you <laughs> vote for me. If you don't vote for me, clearly the democracy is flawed. <laughs> True, that's why we have to manage it. Uh... Also, Carson racks shotgun. Alright, who am I killing? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, just to, like, I do want this thing to have missiles. I do not want it to accidentally... Uh, blow up our seaplane, so... Okay. Like, uh, how... VLS coming, out of, VLS coming out of the back of the superstructure, like, right here where this floating wood is. Aha! <laughs> Alright, that's, um... Alright, um... Hmm. Yep, nope, that's fine. That's fine. The, uh, the plane view actually has a jet engine uh, in there, which I was... Oh, had... never mind, we're putting... Yeah, no, yeah, screw VLS, we're putting the jet engine there. That's <laughs> so much cooler. <laughs> but it's okay, it also... It depends on how fast the thing moves, uh, just with the props. Um, if it moves, yeah, like, close to 100 meters a second just with them, I don't know if it will. I've been a long time since I've made a hydrofoil like this. I really hope that it doesn't be incredibly janky thanks to, um, the fact that these things are on spin blocks. That has happened before. Okay, so I, ha I have to call this out. Yeah? Uh, Swanky Spud, first time chatter, I love your hat, which I really appreciate, but in the chat it says listen and only. So I'm really curious as to how you conceive a hat. <laughs> if you're listening to only. He can like, hear the hat! <laughs> oh my god, he heard the hat. Take it off, take it off! <laughs> it's just, the hat is just like making. The, the hat is too powerful. Yeah, the hat's just making like a noise like a particle accelerator <laughs> winding up. We... Yeah, no, we put the hat on. We, yeah, we put, yeah we, <laughs> we put the hat on for safety when we build. We also have a safety vest, but I don't want to be too OSHA compliant today. Yeah. It's casual safety. The hat speaks volumes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it does. This man lives off of echo location. <laughs> it's just a chatter screaming at his phone trying to see the hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's boy. echo location. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so Choco R1, what is this uh, chaotic curiosity of a stream I ended into? It's uh, my first uh, stream collaboration, so... And it's going very well. <laughs> We've almost made <laughs> one <laughs> boat. <laughs> After like an hour and 20 minutes for me. <laughs> like, more than that yeah, for Rawlston. three and a half hours for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, to be fair, I, I, I did get most of a plane done, so like, I, it's not like I've been slacking off today. Yeah. I've just been mostly slacking off today. Yeah. Alright. Let me figure out just the general shape of the... Because on the original plane view, like, this, um... This turbine engine is what f is like what powers the props, so okay. maybe, huh? We could make it just an actual jet engine providing thrust up top, but that is going to be horribly unbalanced because it's just so far above the center of drag and the center of mass. So we'll see how it goes. We we'll actually have to get this thing driving in order to see it. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. Though. It's going to be fun. It's going to be science. 
Okay, so we got the main hull blocked in now, and obviously we can cut away at it and carve into it as we need. Um, they screw OSHA, me and the homies die on the workplace. Do not die at your workplace. Please follow all OSHA regulations. Yeah, do, do, I am yeah, contractually do. obligated to say that now. Yeah. But... <laughs> Oh yeah, because you're an archaeologist, like OSHA has a thing if you're out on a dig, right? Yeah. So, yeah, so I have to do all the regulations, um, Canada has its own specific regulations, uh, like we use OSHA, like yeah, 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 OSHA, yeah. but not called OSHA, so, um, but it's just easier for the joke to say OSHA, but yeah, so there's a lot of, like, I have, like, I, God, let me go check my wallet, I have, like, 57 certificates, Whoa! of which this year I have to renew, like, 36, just because there's so many different permits and whatnot you need to do archaeology. Which is good, honestly, because so many people do it incorrectly and fuck it up. Well, yeah, it's like, but, uh, back in the day, it was basically grave robbing as uh, funded by a university, so... Pretty much, yeah, it was just state-sponsored grave robbing, but nowadays yeah. it's an actual science, and... Yes. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually going along quite well. Yeah, it's like how, it's like... Out the front of the suit. <laughs> like, I cannot, like, jab at archaeology without also mentioning, like... I've studied history, I've got a master's degree in history, and um, basically modern, like, history writing come... is descended from, like, state propaganda efforts, so... Oh, archaeologists yeah. uh, used to be professional grave robbers, and uh, state uh, historians used to be professional liars, so... <laughs> there's enough yeah, well, dirt on yeah. everybody. <laughs> the actual worst part of archaeology, and we're, we're slowly getting away from it, uh, but, like, archaeology is so rooted and stemmed in just race, like, state-sponsored racism. Yeah. And discrimination, but it's it's really, like, and anthropology is the same way. Yeah. It's hard to, like, the, the, like, the academia as a whole is moving away from that, which is nice, but, like, there's still a lot of holdouts where people are like, well, no, because, like, we're professional archaeologists, therefore we know more about people's culture than they do. Yeah, And it's it's hard so to... Hard. <laughs> It's hard to explain an educated viewpoint on something without sounding like you're patronizing or talking down to someone about their culture. And I, yeah. I'm not saying it's hard as in like, oh, haha, like we don't do it. It's like just, it's something, you know, it's something you have to be conscious of and it's something you have to work around. Because like, uh, for me, like, you know, I work with a lot of groups that in the past have been historically marginalized. Yeah. And so when, because like I work in North American archaeology. Oh, yeah. And so, <laughs> yeah, tell, guys, you can't just at me to tell Borderwise to check chat. <laughs> like, I am, uh, I am looking at what Fluffy is saying, Borderwise, ask Raw how is Candle Muncher if he has eaten or not? I, I have not played that save, I don't play that save file unless, aside from Sundays, so. The Candle Muncher is a, is a, is a vulture pinata that we got last week. Oh! Um, yeah. Alright, so- and also horrific, it's also a horrific slur for Fluffy, but- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Okay, so okay. I I think there's I need to catch up on chat a little bit. So uh, Choco R asks, wait, is this gonna be that weird hydro falling ship canoe thing you US tried at one point? Yes, this is based on the plain view. And 3D Wrecker, what yeah. time in QE land is the stream ending? Um I think I might end my stream at the usual time, which is about half an hour, but by gum, um Ralston is gonna do a roast and I'm gonna stick around for that because that is gonna be yeah. hilarious and cool. And... So actually, if you're in your last 30 minutes of stream, we could do Roast and Roast now. Because I'm also in my last 30 minutes of stream. Oh, let's so do that! We could, we could, yeah, we could pivot, okay, uh, let's both save this. Let's, yeah, let's save this thing. Uh, I'll make a new folder for Borderwise CC. You, sound, you said that so wary, you've got too many folders. <laughs> uh, if you look at my folder list right now, this is the, this is the revamped 2024 edition of my folders. It's all organized. Uh, so the Neater folder has a faction folder for every faction in Neater, and then that's split into Ashes or, like, Pure Neater, and then that's split into different sub-factions. Like, it's insane how- actually, I'll just- I'll go through my Deepwater Guard Ashes folder after this. Mm hmm Oh, whoops, forgot to, uh, save that. Okay, I have saved uh, did, this. Did we, ever, did we ever agree on a name for this? Because I know, uh, chat oh. redeemed a channel points from the name it. Oh, blast it all, you're right. Um, what the hell was uh, it? I think it was, uh... Someone said it was just Clipper with a K. Clipper with a K. Which honestly, we're gonna change that. So like, someone else can pay 500 points tomorrow to change that. But <laughs> yeah. But, uh, there we go. We'll save you... it as the Clipper. Yeah. yeah. Are you planning to keep working on this thing tomorrow? Because I'm not streaming oh, tomorrow. No. Yeah. No, I won't work on this without you. Okay. I was just uh... Oh yeah. Feel free to um... name it without me if the name's good. <laughs> Yeah, if I find a good name for it, I will, but... Yeah. I'll, I'll, it's, it's your custom campaign, so I'm not going to do anything without, without you, because I feel like that defeats the purpose. Right. 
Okay, Alrighty. yeah. Alrighty. Good name suggestions are always welcome, though, is the thing. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So, Neater. Uh, let's go to Deepwater Guard. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you can see all the Neater, pure Neater ones, and even some that aren't organized. Ashes. Finalized submissions, Kopesh, Wen Marauder, uh, so finalized submissions have all the different pins. And then that's like, so there's like four folders just to get to a blueprint with my organization right now. It's a lot better than just having them all like just dumped into one yeah, giant so folder. Easier. Yeah. <laughs> GG to their PCs, my blueprint size is four megabytes. Uh, if it's anything over a megabyte, I'm probably not going to submit it or take it just because the first off, that's... I rant about this all the time. Big designs are boring. They're just not fun uh, because they're usually too big that you can actually properly detail them. So, and a lot of times people go like, oh, haha, look at my 1 million cost battleship. It's so cool. It's like, no, it's not as boring as hell. It's just a box. Like it's turrets are boxes, your superstructures are box, your, your hull is a box. Like it's not interesting. Yeah. They're not always uh, boring, but... I think, like, just because it takes so long to make something so big, it's harder to make it stand out, I guess? Yeah, and it's it's hard to make a big design look good, and it's very time-consuming, and most people will just stop halfway through and go, like, that's good enough, which is fine, everyone has their own standards. To me, though, I find big ships are... have a track record as just being incredibly boring. Also, do you have this version saved? I, yep, I've saved it. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to delete everything, and we can... Uh, t we can just do a quick little, uh, I just need to quickly alt-tab and go download 18 designs. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> uh, what okay, am I so going to do have... while you download things? Uh, okay, so where did I start today? That's yesterday's close, which means today it starts at... That's... Seth... Depression.blueprint. <laughs> The Sunderland. Uh, again, guys, I will, if you submitted more than one design, I will only be taking the first design that's uh, on top. Uh, the Mercy we already reviewed. The Obet. Uh, Castello d'Almeda class. Um, the Annihilator Mark 15 to 5. Mission inspired by craft being built. The Trinity class heavy assault ship. Okay, cool. Bean wanted to flex on us. What do we just <laughs> did an entire design? Oh, also, if you want to load a design that you want me to roast and roast, let me know. All right, when the hell? I'm just mucking about while you're downloading stuff. When the hell did this, um, like, the new blueprints? They're like, it's got new things in here. It's got like a covert ship hull and surveyor ship hull and all that kind of thing. Yeah. And they look really uh, good. Yeah, we did a we did a big uh, prefab redo a few months ago. If you look at the the tank hull prefabs, I also went through and redid all of them. Oh, Ranger Knight Kingmaker. Yes, but I see helped me with all of them, but uh, yeah, Kinmaker and Knight I did mostly myself, and then uh, the Ranger was mostly Spadicey. Oh, but these there's, are it's so a good. Renault F yeah. It's a Renault FT7, it's a Sherman Mark II, and then it's also a Mouse Hall. Alright, oh, okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, so if you load all of them, it's really cool. That is neat. Okay. Uh, where was I? Damn it, I need oh, to use these. Uh... <laughs> Okay, it was the Freedom Class Combat Ship. Uh, there's Cruisers, Pyramid. Oh, tons of new people here, too. Oh, DMC, also! Grenadier. Henry Way, hey, Henry Wands here, nice. Yay! <laughs> uh, and the last one will be 3D Wreckers. Behold, my near play for shitbox. Con converted Kalmar Aircraft Carrier. That sounds fun. That sounds promising. God, that is the, this is the most designs I've had for a Roast and Roast. Wow! Alright, designs are closed. Order-wise, you find a blueprint you want me to roast, we'll start with you. Um, I need to look at your chat, don't I? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? How's it? <laughs> well, no, no, you can just, well, you're just in the multiplayer, so you can just load it up. Oh, cool. Uh, where do... Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't have to give me the BP if you're right here with me. <laughs> right, it's in the transfers, right? Uh, it should just no. be, you can just, yeah, you can just load it from your folder. You go to your, like, border-wise, like, your profile, and then just... Load it from where you would, just load a ship how you'd normally load it. Oh, we're load roasting what we're roasting yeah. one of my things. Got it. Yeah, we're doing yeah we're doing yours first. Okay, let's go here and where was the thing? Not that this was a thing I made some time. All right, so this is something I made some time ago. I'm trying to remember if the turrets are busted. They might be. It's the erratic mamba. This is the kind of thing that I just the erratic mamba. <laughs> yeah, but, well, because the thing like is a very it's very wiggly and it's long and narrow and it's black. So mamba. 
And um Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's a uh, it's this is the kind of thing I'm I guess I'm kind of infamous for. It's a cram canoe. And well, it's just Oh, uh Aliyah, if you need more time, just do submit it and then I'll do it I'll add it as well. Yay! Yeah, the turrets are not broken. So this was kind of just okay. made for fun. And um Ooh, okay. Yeah, I want these kind of azipods on the the plane view we're working on right yeah. now, if we can. I think this would be really cool for the faction. Yeah, not quite this okay. big though. Yeah, not quite. Like we can do, we can scale its stuff down. But like mm. this could be the thing that makes stuff coherent. It's like most of your ships have to have this type of like apparatus on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, if my stream is behind border wise, it's just refresh my stream. I tend to stream at a higher latency just because that way I can run everything. Because VTube Studio is quite intensive on my computer. Thank you. Um. Okay, so. Yeah, first things first. Bow, um, can't complain too much because it, it's stylized. I quite like the little eyes you put on it. That's cute. I love how it looks as if he's going like, ah! Yeah, I know. Help! This is good. Uh, it's a little bit flat. And then right here, you have a very craggly hull. You didn't really... I would personally smooth this out to make it a little bit more hydrodynamic and make it feel like more like a ship. That's just me personally, though. Yeah, I kind of, I like this staggered hull. I realize that I might be the weirdo uh, in this uh, in this specific case. <laughs> as respectfully as possible. Staggered hulls can look good. This this one ain't it, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> sizzle, sizzle, the roast has begun. <laughs> and then... Uh... Okay, you have the little, the little azipods on the side, which is cute. Your turret caps. Uh, your mantlets are exposed and not in the good way. They could definitely use some like, little deco there. Like, I just used ERA blocks as like canvas mantlets. Oh, that's, that's what you meant by exposed. I yeah. was like, hang uh, on, yeah, the... they're covered, but like, all right, no, I got yeah. it. More pretty. Oh yeah, no, I will not critique anything functional unless I see op props, which by the way. Okay, good, no up props. Oh no, this thing's a hydrofoil. Oh. No, none of that needed. Yeah. Okay, so I see you're doing the Providence style Superstructure. Uh, yeah, I like, like this. Providence. Again, I realize I'm a weirdo. Like, <laughs> superstructure is <laughs> no, not my is a, strong point. It, yeah, you have a you, you have a submarine superstructure, which is quite interesting to see on a hydrofoil. I'm not against the idea. Yeah, I I, I, I would gladly see that. Oh, okay, hang on. I'd gladly see that idea. Point. I think what are these? technically this isn't a hydrofoil because it's not using it's not using hydrofoils to stay up. It's just entirely made out of alloy and is very very floaty. <laughs> That's another okay, thing to roast about. <laughs> Somebody just called this thing a U-boat. <laughs> it does kind of look like an azipotted U-boat. Uh, also, these octopal simple weapons. I know you know how to make small APS. Yeah, I was feeling lazy <laughs> that no day. Th yeah, there's no excuse. Yeah, these things, like, uh, I believe the consensus is, is that these things are way too expensive for what they actually can accomplish. Yeah, 3D Wrecker was the someone. Bad. 3D Wrecker was the one who called this a U-boat. Sorry. Yeah, on <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I like the look of this from a top down. It's a, it's a fun silhouette. The side silhouette needs some work, but that's okay. Yeah. 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 This is an older design, right? I don't remember when I made this. It was some time ago, and again, this was this was never actually meant to see the light of day. It wasn't meant to be shown off to literal to like no. anyone, <laughs> but here it yeah, is. But it's just like yeah, 30 people right now. Yeah, this is what uh, I do in the no, dark. But, yeah, between our two streams are at 40 people. Oh, but, yeah. awesome. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I do like the concept here, and I think it just needs to cook a little bit longer. So I'm going to give this like a, let's say, six six 6.5 out of 10. Because I, I, I like where you're going with this. I just, I like where it's going, I just don't like where it's been, you know what I mean? All right. <laughs> He's more pretty and actually APS. <laughs> Oh, I had to get a, I had to get a few good zinners off on you. Yeah. Uh, let's go to now. We're just gonna and then this one you can join in for. Okay. Um. Oh, here I, I don't need my hard hat anymore because I'm no longer building. Right. I'm. But probably going to focus more on functionality than aesthetics because as we've just learned, um, <laughs> I wouldn't know aesthetics if it bit me in the ass. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. I forgot that I forgot that uh, Luffy submitted a larger craft, so this mm. is probably gonna lag. <sighs> I was I wondering why. I should have checked first. I wondered why it Here, chugged. I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna heart reset. Uh, there you go. I'll just alt F4 bats. Uh, ah! Reboot the game. <laughs> I have, yeah, I have an SSD, so I can just normally quickly reboot stuff when people get silly like this. Well, I'm out of. I'm. I've been booted out, so I need to join that again. <laughs> yep. No worries. I'll uh, quickly fix that. 
we'll just delete that from the lineup. Yeah, if you guys purp if you guys purposely submit designs that like don't work, I'm just not gonna review them. That's just how it works. Like, congrats, you got two seconds of fame. You crashed the computer. <laughs> Bravo. Like, uh, all right, same password, same uh, lobby. Got it. Nah, Fluffy, we're just not doing yours at all. <laughs> like, I told you, what? don't submit anything too big. How big was that thing? Uh, probably like a couple million. Yeah, what was that loading screen? Yeah, the game has new loading screens now. It's actually really cool. Yeah. Also, Fluffy uh, just said in my chat, do mine last. Is like, uh, dude, um, you probably should have done that in the other chat. <laughs> no, no, he, he said, yeah, he said it in my chat as well. Just, okay, I'm good. just not going to do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, got stopped by slow mode? Okay, no worries. Uh, where is that? Is it in... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll do a Elias instead of Fluffies. Torque Bomber looks... Okay, cool. <laughs> the, yeah, we don't we don't give redos in this chat. If you mess up, then you deal with the consequences, which means you have to wait a week. Actually, more than a week, because I'll be gone next week. Actually, I might be home for stream. We'll see. Mm. But, uh... <laughs> this is probably going to be, like, the last Rorson's Roast for a considerable while, just because I'll be busy. Ah, so my... savor it, people. Yeah, which point of record, I have a I have a beefy PC. Like I dropped like 3.5k on this just back in February. So it's like, if you build reasonably, it won't lag. That's Canadian dollars, right? <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> which means it's probably like, hang on, I need to I need to calculate like how much that is in Kiwi dollars. It's probably a lot more. Canadian to. Like, that's and cost and get fucked. Yeah, pretty much. Reasonable? What's that? Well, exactly. It's, like, it's up to viewer interpretation, but... Just keep in mind, if it's too big, I just won't look at it. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and try to make things work. I'm lazy. <laughs> How much money did All you right. say it was? <laughs> uh, 3.5k CAD. 3.5k... Right, well, that's um, almost... 4,300 uh, New Zealand dollars, so... Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. No, it, was, it was about like two weeks worth of work at my job, so... Woof! <laughs> it, was just one, it was just one paycheck. Yeah. 750k, bloody hell. Yeah, the volume. Yeah, that's fair. No wonder it didn't work. Alright, let's do Monkey Man's build. I love Monkey Man's builds. He always builds really well. Oh, I like this! <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what the funny part is? Uh, we'll review it with decos on afterwards, but look at what happens when you remove all the decos. <laughs> Yay! All gone. Oh, that always gets me. But yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, yeah, that, oh yeah, yeah, sorry, hit E. I normally... Okay, <laughs> so we'll actually load Monkey Man's ship. So, as always, I love the superstructure, I love the hull shape, and like, it's really well done. And as always, uh, do more structural decor instead of just doing decos for everything. A lot of this could definitely be structural. Uh, yeah. The turrets make sense, obviously, because they're turrets, it's hard to make those structural. But, the, if you, yeah, if you're getting rid of simple weapons, I approve of deco cope and smaller guns. If, um, what else is there? There's a cool little subsection down in the center here, yeah. beneath the superstructure. I'm looking at the internals, the and it's pure autoloader uh, APS, which if you're making an aesthetic build, like, on the one hand, like, if you don't care about cost, that's fine, but if you care about weight, you probably- this thing's rolling already. <laughs> so, oh yeah, this one's, act this one's actively sinking. Yeah, so a part of that, just for anyone who's wondering, is that a good reason to use clips, even if you don't care about cost, is not all- well, they're lighter than loaders, so the weight of- what, what are these things? These are two meter autoloaders. The loaders weigh about 80, the clips weigh about 20, so they're about a quarter of the weight. So that is something that would- whoa, holy crap, like- the crew is going to be throwing up something fierce right here. Yeah, God, look at this. Also, Chad is yelling at me to save at a. It's because of World War Neater rule sets. Oh. Um, so. I could have sworn this floated the last time I reviewed it, though. Yeah. <laughs> wait, World War Neater? Like, wait, World War Neater, you're not allowed to use clips? But I think I saw clips in some of the forward guns. Or is that. Are they talking about up props and stuff like that? Uh, is there up props in this? I don't think I don't see. Uh, there's uh, a pitch no, but no, prop there's, on the front. Yeah, there's pitch props, but there's not up. Uh, there's no pusher props. Wait a minute. Yes, there oh, is. Oh no, yes, there is. Mm, immediately zero out of ten. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> deleted. No, out. <laughs> just wild. Deleted from the file. <laughs> just one eighty okay, degree right. spin, other direction. <laughs> I love it. Wait, up prop. I hate it. 
Yeah, my my non-existent <laughs> reputation, no. Also, how are you failing to float with an up prop? That shit's embarrassing. Like, I, I would, the CIA couldn't have gotten that out of me, monkey man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I didn't no see I didn't see any roll props though, which is probably why the thing was rolling around like so much. Lead keel as well. He's, he's promising it's for cos cosmetics. No fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, converted Kalmar. I like the I love converted carriers. Ooh. Wow, you did a shit job. Whoa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> First off, your planes don't no! even have tractor beams. No. <laughs> Who made this? Whose man's is this? <laughs> oh no. Okay. So, I feel so bad I'm for them just, now. I'm just, I'm just gonna list off the fins you did wrong here. So first off, red paint. Uh, you Honestly. have examples of Deepwater Guard arrow patterns on flight decks. I know this because I did most of them. So... <laughs> uh, oh. So hydro, first off, hydrofoils. That's crazy that you need a hydrofoil to make a Kalmar float. It is wood, my friend. Uh, <laughs> Guys? Okay, honestly, can't complain about the stern too much. This is actually pretty nice. Uh, uh, I wonder if this up? is um, this is just because... Does the regular Kalmar have AI components um, touching metal? Oh, absolutely. Ah, okay, well, they get a pass on yeah. that then. Yeah, no, the Kalmar, uh, the Kalmar was updated recently, but this isn't the updated Kalmar hull. This is the... The old Kalmar hall. Okay. Uh, second, secondly, you have simple weapons. That's absolutely cringe. Do better. Um, We're also, learning what things. Are your, <laughs> what are your little like your little detection sticks here? Why don't you just build a superstructure? Why do Why do you just have like little detection sticks? <laughs> okay, you do have. Okay, actually, never mind. He does have a bridge at the front, which is nice. I I love having bridges as part of the flight deck, like the the flat tops that the Japanese had. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll I'll put some points back on for that. Uh, it's not enough to get you out of the negatives, but hey, at least it's a consolation prize. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I actually quite like the- I, I like the detection sticks, but then again, we've already established I have no taste in superstructure, so... <laughs> I'm being harsh on this because I, I specialize in Deepwater Guard style. Yeah. So, like, if you're gonna- if you're gonna submit a Deepwater Guard design to me, you better expect me to actually come with, like, you know, some- packing some heat. Whereas, like, if you're submitting mm. TG, I know TG, I build TG, but it's like, I'm not an expert in it. So I'm afraid to call out things that I might be wrong on. Whereas Deepwater Guard, I know exactly what went wrong here. <laughs> okay, this is, I think this is 3D Wrecker's uh, design. He just said something in, just said something <laughs> in my chat. Also, Negatives. oh no, it's doing a wheelie. It's doing a wheelie. Yeah, oh wow, look at that. Someone doesn't, have, doesn't have pitch control. And no, it doesn't look like it has a keel. No, it has, yeah, yeah. it has a lot of wood on the bottom. Oh dear. Interesting. Oh dear. It's called roast for- I'm apologizing in advance for my design. Planes will hit the super structure. Yeah, story behind this design. I captured a Kalmar and flattened it. Yeah, we can tell. Yeah. I know- <laughs> you, flat, you flattened- yeah, you flattened out everything that made it cool. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Alright, there's a, th a little note here on the uh, local weapon controllers and Seawiz controllers uh, for the simple weapons, which uh, Rostron has already established are a big no-no. Um, you can uh, have an all-in-one controller attached to a uh, different controller and it will essentially act as a transmitter, so you don't need um, two receivers in this particular setup. You can, like, have one... You can have just an all-in-one controller attached to a not-all-in-one controller and it'll, it'll just connect. So, yeah, you could save some block count here, uh, essentially, and just have less things to be shot off. Oh, 3D Wrecker okay, made this so, about a year ago. <laughs> yeah, okay, do you want to critique on the planes too? Because I, I got I, I got hands for these. Yeah, wh uh, where are they? I need uh, to look I at ca them. I caught one over here. Ah, yeah, I found so, it. Everything everything past this balloon block, I actually really like. This is a decent looking plane. It's a cute little animalistic design. That's actually decently well done. You did a good job there. Uh, everything in front of it... Um, Honestly, you put your offer tag as the real 3D Wrecker, put, switch that to the fake 3D Wrecker, because I would not want this shit associated with me, if I was you. Like, <laughs> ZING! <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> but, uh... Honestly, there's no cockpit here, which you could have just easily put a glass cockpit chair and whatnot, which would have actually improved the design. Mm. I do actually provide some educational help with these videos. I just... Because we have borderlines here, I just wanted to fucking clown on people. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> do both! Yeah, so... So, uh, you have two missiles, like, standard duster, 
armament, which is fine. The, again, the wings and tail look really nice on this. It looks like a flying bird. Really like that style. Uh, it's just the front is really lackluster. Like, put some engine hub. Put you know, put an engine hub for the prop. Put a cockpit for the pilot. Uh, honestly, get rid of the balloon deployer. You don't normally need those. Yeah, if you've got a custom um, prop, you don't like need it. Like, you could even use breadboard to have the thing, um, the prop up in front, control your and pitch. So yeah, there you go. So start with this. And then uh, work your way to doing just a slightly longer cockpit, and these could actually be really decent planes. Yeah, but I just got right, distracted yeah. by the carrier just off in the distance, going absolutely nuts. This thing. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, you saw that too. Yeah, just the thing is pitching out of the water. Like, yep, here it goes again. Wee! The good news is it goes faster if it does that. Let's drag. <laughs> Roar is always too nice, but this time, oh god, he's cooking. <laughs> I'm yeah, a so bad like influence. Said, because, yeah. Like I said, it's uh, we have border, we have like we have company this time. I normally don't have company for roast and roast. I don't have anyone to bounce roasts off of, and it just kind of feels mean if no one's like laughing in the background with me. Uh, I gave it one hell of a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part of roast and roast is desperately trying to excuse the shit design and questionable choices. <laughs> Yep, it's like, I had no! I it small to fit the aircraft carrier. Oh, air really it's like, air. it's yeah, like, uh, fair enough. <laughs> seeing someone rip your design to pieces is a little bit like being caught in your room doing something unacceptable. It's like, no, it's not what you think. It's not what you think, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine that I'm a super villain laughing whenever you roast someone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Skycat's uh, depression craft. Okay, so I'm going to have to call out Sky again because I did this yesterday as well. Oh. Yeah, you once again managed to make the exact same ship, but at a different scale. It's a good style. It's a good ship, even. Uh, this is the seventh time t this week that you've brought this ship to the show and tell. But, <laughs> like, uh -oh. please, make your designs unique. Switching out the turrets with different armaments doesn't make them unique. Like, add some cool stuff to the side of the hull, add some cool stuff to the rear. Change the superstructure. Like, I've seen this exact ship five times now. Speaking like, of the armaments, um... Basic mistake on the cram cannons. Help, I'm lost. Okay. Oh, get him, get him. <laughs> right, get so <laughs> it's like... Oh yeah, I'm the cram guy. Uh, it's nothing major. <laughs> There's 3D Tetris in there, which is good, but the required accuracy for fire is at the default. The default is terrible. Um, crams have a hard enough time hitting anything as it is. Uh, you really want to drop that uh, to 0 0.1. Because otherwise you will miss things at point blank range. Ask me how I know. I'm still traumatized. <laughs> All right. Oh, I should have you roast. I should have you roast my crams after uh, after we're done this with the freebooter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just like because like, normally I don't have someone who can go after the functionality because like functionality just doesn't matter to me. If it works, I'm happy. Yeah. Um, I'm mostly but, about functionality, nice? but as no, people but, no, will this tell dynamic you, works well. I like this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, freedom class combat ship. Oh, hello! Okay. This, I'm not against this. This is something the superstructure I'd want for the plain view uh, thing oh, that we no, were working we are, on earlier. We, we are not doing the goddamn Zumwalt style. We're not doing the triangle superstructure. We're doing World War II style. Oh, <laughs> like okay. <the> chimera. <laughs> if you I'm insist. sorry, I hate, mo yeah, I hate modern ships. Aww. They look so boring. They do look like, very the, boxy. See, I like, like them. It's just a trapezoid. But... Yeah, I like them, but I think, as we've already established, I have bad taste in superstructure. Also, I'm just seeing some flickering uh, on the stern. I think the deco isn't set up correctly. That's yeah, common. There's, when... there's Z yeah, there's Z-clipping. Yeah, oh dear. You hide your Z-clipping. Hide your Z's. Have some hide, decent yeah. Z. Hide the Z's. Yeah, God, hide your Z-clipping. This is a friendly, this is a family-friendly channel, this somehow. <laughs> <laughs> It did, like, you look at um, chat and see cannibals being fought off with a stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, just I just imagine my chat, you know, like, the, the cartoons where it's, like, the two dogs, like, fighting over the bone? Yeah. Just imagine, like, that's how my chat is, like, when I'm not paying attention to them. That's, <laughs> that's what I just imagine. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is... Oh, my God. Well, why did the auto, the auto mod just caught so many fins? Whoa. Oh, okay, it was just Bongo being silly. Okay, right. <laughs> All right, let's. I'm gonna look at the internals of this thing just quickly. Yeah. What yeah. So my main issue with like, it's my main issue with replicas in general and modern stuff specifically is like, 
This is actually a good example of modern ships because it's not too boring, but like a lot of people will just slap a box superstructure on and not try to make it look good. And it's just, mm. it's so disheartening because it's like, there's so much you can do in this game. Why would you choose to do the laziest fin? You know is, what I mean? Like <laughs> Freedom class combat ship. Is this, is the freedom class combat ship a real thing? Is this a replica build? Uh, it might be. I have it currently painted purple with my faction colors, so. Oh, <laughs> what faction colors am I even on? Like, I think I'm on... I yeah, think I'm on Twin Guard ones. Striders. Let's go with yeah. let's go with um, Steel Striders. That's what I'm going with. Oh uh, yeah, good. I'm gonna look at it in my. Oh wow, my fleet colors is like black and white. I think this looks really Ooh. good. But let's go with Steel Striders. Let's see how that looks. Yes, yeah, steel, steel Striders just oh. looks like a, real, like a replica. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, like, that Carson is pretty good. Carson is here. Don't worry. Yeah. Hit it with lightning. Call it a zap. <laughs> it's real. Yeah. What's yeah, back? Like, Carson's not here. Carson is here. Uh, this is this is drivers. Yeah. Um, yeah, like honestly, you didn't do anything wrong aesthetically, aside from the fact that you went with a modern ship style. And at that point, you can't really cure that or like, you know, solve that. It's just something you have to live with. Oh. <laughs> the freedom class combat ship, like, right? I thought I heard that somewhere. It's a it's the freedom class littoral combat ship, which oh, is yeah, the literal combat ship. <laughs> yeah. Which is one of the literally. more, which well, it's it's not literal as in literally, it's literal as no, in I, I, L I, I, <laughs> yeah, okay, right, yeah, make it a funny. As in, uh, yeah, it's literal as in uh, coastal waters. Yeah, wasn't this thing one of the mo biggest flops that the U.S. Navy has had in like a long time? Actually, not that long time. The Zoom Walt was a thing. <laughs> So many people do this, like the Zoom Walt style bridges, and like I actually want to kick their teeth in. Yeah, that's what I fucking hate the Zoom Walt style. That's one bridge <laughs> style. I'm just gonna remind myself what the Zoom Walt looks like. I think that's a modern ship that I think looks ugly, and that if I think it looks bad, holy like, moly! I'm not gonna lie. Like uh, missiles were the worst fin for ship design ever. I miss like pagoda mat. Like World War Two was such a vibe aesthetically for ship design yeah and then the cold world cold cold war they did some wacky shit like again the kiev class that shit's cool as hell and then the fucking americans come out with like i think it was the early burke class or whatever it was and everything just looks dog shit now yeah americans have ruined naval architecture yeah and nothing <laughs> else <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry yeah. what, what's your biggest complaint about the americans yeah they ruined naval architecture <laughs> <laughs> is there not? Is there like what about like their entire stint in the nineties? No, I don't care about that. They ruined my ships. Okay, apologies <laughs> to all the Americans watching, but yeah, <laughs> couldn't resist. Modern, right. yeah, modern warfare is boring as hell. Like, there's no skill in it. It's just pointing click with a computer and enemy yeah. dies. There's no, there's no skill in modern combat. Yeah. <laughs> the modern meta is shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Patch, please. I'm looking yeah, at the yeah, Zimult like... now just to remind myself what it looks like. And yep, I remember correctly. That looks. Really terrible. That looks. What does that look like? It looks like a. It looks. It looks like someone's like 100 hour build. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> oh, look below the oh. flight deck. All right, let's look below there. What's what's down here? What is this? What is down here? It's steam pistons. Oh, it's, oh, it's a it's a little dinghy for like spec ops. Okay, oh, you, you managed, yeah, driver, you managed oh, to save yourself. Oh, you right. Yeah. Oh, that, you yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, you get an 8 out of 10 for this one. And yeah, that's this... despite the minus 5 points for being a modern style show. Yeah. So you did good work. Also, did like, good on just a note on the APS. Um, APS purists, I feel, are really keen on, like, the most efficient Tetris possible. Um, honestly, like, um, if you're looking at this, this is literally one clip Tetris. Um... I don't know, depending on what exactly you want the gun to do, sometimes you need to make compromises, but you could potentially do better, actually you almost certainly could do better clipping in here, but I've done this before on ships that I've taken into campaigns and they've worked absolutely fine and they haven't wasted my money, so this is occasionally acceptable if it's like 1am and you just want to get the freaking gun firing properly, so yeah. Oh, sorry, just someone saying, this is the longest roast in r recorded history. Because they like to put my roar as a prefix on every word. Ah, uh, But just roast. recorded history. Roar That's where we got roar. 1980 roar from. Yeah, 1980 roar. <laughs> it, it, it's so funny to me. Yeah. I do like the way they've done, uh, I do like the windows. The windows have wipers. 
I just noticed Which that. Where? Yeah, look, look at uh, look at this. Like uh, they've got the little rubber deco, and it's like it's windscreen wipers. Oh my god, wipers. they do! That's, yeah. that's so cute. And they got okay, yeah. whoa, Solid they got chairs in here. The internals are really nice. They look pretty. Okay, yes. Solid eight out of ten, driver. You're the only yeah. person who can get away with making modern ships. Yeah. Everyone else, uh, cope, Eve, mauled, and switch styles. <laughs> yeah. I will single-handedly change the meta of FTD style and just by insulting people who build <laughs> modern style <laughs> ships. <laughs> Alrighty, on to the next one, because we do have quite a few to get through here. Yeah. Uh, we have Kreuzer's uh, Gay Rage class torpedo cruiser. Gay He's, Rage he has a really cool. Yeah, so he has a really cool faction where it's uh, a oh. really consistent style design, and I really like it. Yay! Uh, okay, actually, Kreuzer, you know what? You did something different with this one. It's not just another trapezoid with colors. Yeah, this actually, is... I like this design. Yeah, this is shaped this differently. Is yeah. Oh my god, the neon spinning gun barrels. Yeah. So he, yeah, he always has those. Those are like his usual stuff, which is really good. It's consistent style. It's coherent. I like that. Uh, but he actually changed the superstructure up, and he changed, like, he added side mounts to the hull, so it's not just a straight trapezoid. And then, but he kept his ram, which is a good, like, faction cohesiveness. I love this radar panel he put. This is fantastic. That's good. Yeah, like, because the last few times uh, Cruiser submitted stuff, it was it felt like it was all kind of the same, kind of like how uh, Skycats was, where it's like, oh yeah, like I've seen this exact ship seven times yeah. before. Or like my ship, so it's a canoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like this is actually nice that it's uh, it's very it's very uh, what's it called familiar, but it's different, and that's what I meant by trying to make a cohesive faction. You don't want everything to look the same. You want things to be unique. You want every craft to be unique, but recognizable as the same faction. And it's a hard line to balance. I, yeah. Like I'm not I'm not saying that going like oh haha it's so easy just do it. Like I struggle with it with Deepwater Guard, and Deepwater Guard everything's unique by design. Mm. So. It, like, this is really well done. Uh, this is a solid 9 out of 10. Yeah. I just want to fire off uh, the torpedoes just to see, like, because someone asked, like, does it fire pride torpedoes? So, if I do this... <laughs> I yeah. Yes, it does! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> it's like if someone weaponized Rainbow Road. <laughs> <laughs> From Mario, yes! Yes, yes Green! <laughs> Taste the skittles, taste the rainbow. Oh, that's <laughs> that's so good. That's so good. We <laughs> should have just re-uploaded my seaplane tender. Yeah, probably. Whoops. Okay. Uh, also, Lions absolutely dunking on someone in chat. So Lions is a total help who does a lot of my functionality stuff because yep. like he has cracked the game so many times. Like he's he's insane. He's insane at the game. <laughs> and uh, yep. talking about port I don't understand Tetris, but that might be interesting for you guys to read. Lions, you should go over to Borderwise's chat and explain the the clip thing to him, because I don't understand that. Because fuck APS, it wasn't in the game when I started. I'm not using it. Oh. <laughs> All right, he's talking about four clip and three clip by the looks of it. So ah, okay. Yeah, I prefer three okay. clip. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> it's easier. I prefer six clip myself. You okay? Ooh. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is an amphibious tank. I quite like this. This is cute. I think a little flamethrower. It's a hover tank, by the looks of it. Uh, is it a hover tank? Or yeah. is it a... Oh, it is a hover tank. I thought it was just an amphibious tank. I mean... Okay, cool. It's hard to get more amphibious than a hover tank. Let's get real. Like... That, you know what? That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> you got me there. Yeah. <laughs> Glucka... Oh, this is for... This is for Kanumageddon. This is Epicomedia's oh, yeah. thing. Yeah, intro... Alright, is this thing not finished? Because it's, it's AI. Oh yeah, it is work in progress. I like yeah, this. No there. It's a Russian. Uh, it's, aesthetically, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it looks like the turret looks like um, like a Russian um, AFV or tank turret. That seems to be yeah, kind of like the, the kind of like the BMP series almost. Yeah, it's, exactly. It does look like that. Cool. Yeah, I totally just didn't steal that from chat. <laughs> yeah. Borderwise did it. He fired the weapons. Yeah, a big part of uh, Worst of is I normally don't fire the weapons because I don't check functionality. I just do the aesthetic stuff. Yeah. So, oh, I fire the weapons. Up. Yeah, ch yeah, chat's popping off for you right now because you, you did good in their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we so. gay torpedoes. Uh. Yeah, flamethrower and this, like ATGM. That's pretty good. Yeah. Hang on. Let's have a look inside here. What have they I done? Just... I actually yeah. love this. Um, being having a tank turret and like having, you know, this kind of oh, like. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. Um, damn it! I need to load in. 
what was it? Was it what was it? There's an um, there's a faction in the Kanuma game, Amphitazwa, and their whole thing is amphibious tanks and hover tanks. And there's one yeah. particular thing that really is I'm need to get my rear and gear and like copy that. Uh, damn it! Let's go, just go find it. It is a tank. It is. Hold on, it's a heavy... Is 9 out of 10, the body is free out of 10? What do you mean? The body looks fine. It's just, it's a work in progress and it's not deco, but shaping wise, this is great. Right, so it's I, this thing. Yeah, I, lo I love the shaping on this. Oh god. Right, so if you... <laughs> this is a triple cram turret, but it has a railgun secondary, like, in the way that a tank would have a machine gun. So Yeah, it's like split into quads, yeah. that's cool, I like that. It's split into quads, it's like so cool. It's like, it could be optimized better, but also, it's freaking cool. And the great thing about the um, the crams is that they all have, they're all basically identical in the terms of their volume. So, I believe, unless I've forgotten, that they all have the same, exact same firing rate and stats. They absolutely do, and that's sometimes hard to get with crams, so... Yeah, this is the kind of thing, I, I love it when people just sink entire turrets inside other turrets. Might not be the best, um, like, thing to do, like, for efficiency's sake, but it's just like, oh, mwah, it's it's so good to see it. Yeah, it's, it's so a nice, good. Uh, split, ta yeah, split weapon turrets are interesting. But yeah, yeah. No, I like the exterior of this, it's structurally good, I'm excited to see, I'll be watching your career with great interest, Epic Omega. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I gotta burn through because I actually did have plans after stream today. Oh yeah, right. Hurry up, hurry up. Uh, one sentence <laughs> go, summary. Go, go. One sentence summary from each like of us. So sorry okay. for rushing. Cinder yeah, Cinderwands. Ooh, okay, this is nice. Doesn't work though. Rip. Um, yeah, it just fell into the water. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Props need to be better. Uh, Wait. Are the pro yeah. hold on, hold on a minute. Are the props, props aren't decorated? Yeah, props aren't decorated. They're I just was, default props. I was worried. Like I was more like I'll uh, do like. Why are they not working at all? Does this thing not have? It has no materials and no engine power. Okay, so that's a bit of that's a bit of a oh, problem. There we go. Oh wait. Yeah, it's just what? it was saved without materials. I just gave it. Materials. Okay, there we go. Now oh, it's okay. flying. Uh, I absolutely got to steal that type of tank turret. Yeah, those treads are outdated. Yeah, it happens. Hey, monster kicker, welcome back. Uh, we're just reviewing Cringe's Cinderland right now. Overall, uh, it looks it looks good for FTD. Like it's an FTD build. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Makes sense. Like. That it makes sense. Like it was built in FTD. Yeah. Uh, which is which is which is a good style. Yeah. It's, it's solid. You have some craggly and crinkled metal, which I'm not a fan of. Like right here, like flatten this shit out. It's a plane. <laughs> um, aside from that, I'll let Borderwise take over on the functionality if you want. Yeah. Oh my let's... god! Look at the winds in the structural view. Let's see. What is That's this? Insane. <laughs> All right. So it's got uh, destabilized plasma. So pew pew pew. So mm -hmm. not an armor crusher by any means. And it's got impact pack. This thing's actually pretty heavily armed. Like, it's got a lot yeah, of like, stuff in here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. What is this? That is... What is it? 30 millimeter shell? What kind of shell is it? Oh, it's got 30 millimeter heat. Um, right, this is a very compact thing. Bloody hell. Like, I, we don't have time to combat test this, but, like, yeah, this thing is... Um, this thing could potentially do a hell of a lot of damage if it trains all its weapons on something. How expensive is yeah, it? Yeah, 132 firepower. Uh, one, yeah, 177k. Yeah. That's insane, I, guys. Yeah. I never really look at the firepower stat because I find it a little bit misleading. Uh, because, like, crams, for instance, like, the firepower for them can be very high. But because they miss so often, like, the actual real damage they do is, like, completely different. So, I don't know. I might be outspoken in that regard, but like the f actual firepower stat can only ever give you a rough idea of like, mm -hmm. you know, damage done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, aesthetically though, it's it's okay. I think it needs work though. It needs yeah. It needs a bit of prettying. Prettying? Okay, That's a word. <laughs> uh, Mercy, we've already reviewed. Yeah. Choco, uh, Ch Choco Aura says of that yeah. plane we just saw, like somebody glued oh. a plane to your guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already reviewed this one the other day. Uh, Metis Medisativa. Oh, this is cool. Little trees. I, Wait, wish, we could, I wish we had more oh. time to explore more of this. Look at this. This is Henry Wands. Oh, yeah. We've uh, got th this is the resource platform uh, for the first faction of Kanumageddon. 
Or one okay, of them at yeah, least, I'm, yeah. Uh, one second, I'm just gonna steal this so I can steal the trees later. Yeah, the trees are good. Uh, the trees are actually yeah. mimics, not decos. Because it's easier to prefab oh. them that way. Nice, okay, sounds good. Yeah. It's apparently Very the good, one good. advantage mimics have over decos is that, like, you can just prefab them and it's a lot easier to slap them down everywhere. It plays merry hell with the block count, though, but this thing isn't that big anyway, so... Mm -hmm. it also, should Neko be being an absolute... Neko being an absolute nerd saying the lights aren't in the positions. You don't put red green on tail, that's for wind tips. Yeah, shut up, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> that's my way to subscribe and then my good friend. But <laughs> yeah, but also be quiet, please. Well, yeah, when I when I use Mimic's Roar instant rejects my builds, that's because they're banned okay. in campaign. What can I say? Alright. Um, Alright, Choco R is Ari, got it. Yeah. Yeah, overall, no, this is very nice. Good job, Henry. Yeah. Tootal. Did oh, kind of right. vibe like a turtle, actually. Yeah, honestly, I really didn't have much to critique that. That was just a solid build. Well, just, yeah. That's what happens when. Yeah. It's Trees. nice when people send in good builds because it means I can just kind of like blitz through them. I don't have to really critique much. Oh, uh, yeah. You just uh, look at it and say, yep, yeah, good. Move on. There we go. Oh, this is. Uh. The hell is this? Nah. Whoa. I don't. That's lag. It's, it's lagging. <laughs> that is laggy as hell, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Sonny. Too big. Try oh. to keep stuff under, like, let's say in the future, try to keep stuff under 50k volume. Because there's there's no reason to go much bigger than that. Hmm. The Oberin, what is, what what the hell is this one? This is a tank. Oh, it's a little missile craft. Oh. Yeah, Soulboy made this. Okay, oh. cool. This is Command and Conquer as hell. Oh yeah, this, this feels like something Nod would build. This is um, like 100% Nod style, ooh. Yeah, this is good. Honestly, you might take this and convert it into White Flare style. Yeah. Doesn't have. Hang on a minute. One second, let me actually be able to see the craft because night time. No space I armor. Use my to <laughs> no space I gotta armor. Use that. I might degree to nitpick something. Oh, yeah. no space armor. Oh, that's fine. It's it's ashes. There's a 2.5k volume limit. Oh, I was gonna say though, like ashes is just lousy with like heat and hash. Um, so this thing better not get hit. <laughs> It also has ammo, like, right next to the engine, so... Yeah, again... A lot of material containers, presumably for the missiles. Oh yeah, these... Like, what are these? Are these large or...? They're large. Yeah, they're also, large. this is only 700 volume. You have more volume if you wanted to build proper. Yeah, like... This might be used in groups where it's protected by Evercraft. Oh, it's fleet gameplay! Okay, that's fine. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. I mean, if the thing isn't going to get shot at, then like, yeah, like, don't don't worry about the armor. Like, yeah, more it's missiles. like what I'm doing with the Kopesh. Yeah, it's like what I'm doing with the Kopesh in the campaign right now. Eventually, I'm gonna have it spawn with a Shotel. The Shotel is a tank destroyer. The Kopesh is like a beefy tank, and so it's kind of like sword and shield tactics. It's really cool. Nice. Well, can I change my submission? Nope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've already closed submissions for today. Why I got a special exception because they had already posted something, but then had to resubmit it. So. Yeah, yeah, no, overall, looks good, Soulboy. Yep. Uh, hmm. I gotta use remote yeah, guidance a lot more. Honestly, not much to complain about. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a cute little design. Yeah. Oh, sorry, remote guidance. Yeah, I gotta use getting get the hang of using them more, because if you set them up right, they really hit hard if you use them with thumpers. Like, I always get surprised by just how dangerous they can be. Oh, right, we have the Obet, which is just a VBR jet. Uh... Honestly, this is weak in terms of VBR style, and I feel like you could have definitely done better here, Bongo. What? Uh, so VBR is yeah. a custom faction from SCW. Oh. Like War. It's, a, it's a really cool custom campaign. I highly recommend checking it out. Yeah, I played the demo actually. It's uh, looks oh, did you? Yeah, really okay, nice. So yeah. 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 Uh, overall, I feel like this is. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I feel like you need to add something like diesel punk. Like add like a big intake at the back or something like that. What are like the these circular... Little, these little small ones kind of don't work. What are the circular things on the wings meant to be? They're just... They uh, that's, where the, that's where the symbol... Yeah, that's where the symbol is going to be. They're like little roundels. Uh, it's just they made them too thick. They didn't yeah. make them thick enough. It looks like... Bonko, you, Bonko, you had one job. <laughs> <laughs> the weapon is in Bonkers. the nose. Uh, what? Okay, well, let's remove the decos. Oh, okay, so it's just... Oh! Oh, it's an Oka. That's what it is. It's a Oka 7 something. You know those Japanese jet-powered kamikaze units they used in 45? I've never heard of them, That's but like, yeah, like this, now that you mentioned it, this does look like a World War II experimental design. They always look yeah, weird. This is the, yeah, they were, they were man-driven they were man uh, rockets that they would 
uh, used to attack U.S. naval ships. Did they actually? Did they actually use it, or was it just one of those projects that uh, never saw the no, light they, of day? I think they had twenty. Yeah, they had twenty free operations that resulted in two destroyers, like U.S. destroyers, being sunk. But at that point, it wasn't worth it because it wasn't effective enough. Yeah, and they were literally killing like their most experienced pilots and using kamikaze. So yeah, yeah. oops. So it just it wasn't it wasn't worthwhile. Yeah. yeah overall, I, I like it. It's it's an yeah. interesting nod to history. Yeah. Um, aesthetically, it just kind of looks like the rest of old VBR, though. I think it needs a little bit of work aesthetically. Uh, ooh, okay, this is nice. This is the Grenadier by Carson. Hmm. What, my, what does it look like in my oh, I was I was waiting for the Not lag good. to happen from spawning in, and it didn't happen. Too small. No, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's just a cute little guy for... Uh, is this for Helios, Carson? My submission was a refitted design from gear. I did a lot of work on the cabin and just changed the colors around the back of the truck. I have no excuses for the internals because I only changed the missiles a bit. Yeah. Right, okay. so this well, is the second thing I'm seeing that like has no spaced armor or even really armor whatsoever and I'm wondering if I'm making land vehicles wrong because maybe I should just forget completely about armor and just stick a bunch of missiles on, you know, a brick with wheels. Except this doesn't look like a brick with wheels, this actually looks very nice. Referring more to the way I make them. <laughs> honestly, the way I make land vehicles, I just, I, obviously for the Kopesh that has decent armor. Um, for the, sh the show tells is going to have some armor, but not nearly as much as the Kopesh. What I normally do is I just rely on numbers because that's how uh. I play the land campaign. I like doing like squad-based tactics. Uh, I'm going to be. Ch I want to change a lot of the uh, the campaign spawn so that stuff will spawn in groups of three or two mm. instead of just spawning one on one, because the AI doesn't make fleets as well as the player does. Okay. Yeah. I like so the these. Design. Missile silos like on the back here. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, yeah this is nice. Uh, put something that props it up though. This kind of looks unsupported. Yeah, good point. It just look. It looks a little precarious. Yeah, like even just if you just put like a stick. This is the, obviously like <laughs> do this and this. Like it doesn't have to be exactly like that. You can figure it out yourself. But uh, just something like that would nice would look nice. The oblique fenders look nice though. Like the truck itself is very nice. It is truck. Um, yeah, it do be a truck. Does it hit like a truck, though? What? 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 This, 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 yeah, this is the truck you get isekai by. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky I know what isekai means. Yeah, I'm, I'm not yeah, usually I'm glad, anime. I, I, that, that, that was a risky joke, because all my yep. chat hates anime. Oh, <laughs> really? This? And here you oh, are with a VTuber that. rig. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm doing it. It's, it's exposure therapy for them. Yeah, you, whoa, Okay, I, this is neat. What the hell is this? Pyramid. This is ironically made by Kamikaze Pirate. Pyramid bad. Well, yeah, he's right. That is a bad pyramid. It's a step pyramid, even though it's in the Egyptian style. Actually, never mind. It's it's Mayan. Yeah. Actually, you are exactly eh. the right person to critique a pyramid. So, you did the steps wrong, first off, because Mayan pyramids have, like, uh, equidistant steps. And then the structure on top you did right, but you made it a little bit too, too big. They wouldn't normally be as big. You want to be, like, one layer up, because... the um, Technically, yeah, no, the, the hmm. this doesn't have stairs. Is, this has ramps. Yeah, the main, that's what I'm saying. Like they didn't yeah. step the pyramid correctly. I'm kind of disappointed in that. Oh, uh, what else is what else is wrong here? It's got a big laser. Uh, you have little, yeah, you have little, little side pyramids, which doesn't make sense. Uh, you have little flaming parts, which I guess that's the style, but still, like, I don't know. Eh. Look at the, the the nice thing about pyramids and the Mayan pyramids specifically, like the step pyramids, is it's just some. It's just simple. It's the simplicity of it, and that's what makes it look really mm. good. There's a note on the custom jets here, uh, actually, that you probably don't need that many, like, intake uh, tubes. They don't need to go all the way down, I don't think? Where the hell am I? I'm over here. <laughs> Where? Who am I? <laughs> Who am I? What am I doing? So if you just... <laughs> I'm just uh, showing off on my side. Like, you literally can just have the little corner, and then you can have empty space there. And empty space isn't, like, bad. Like, you know, it's just, it'll save on block count, it'll save materials, like, for whenever you want to make something more pragmatic. Or, you can just fill that with ducts, and ducts are so good, you can just... Pfft, whoops, I filled up too much ducts, but you get the idea. I think ducts are cheaper and tougher than the, these, so the intake duck, duck, Yeah, there was a while where duct armor was meta. Yeah. 
It still kind of is in a little way, just not so much. Like, the, the big 7x7 heavy armor uh, ducts have so much health is that they can stop kinetic rounds that, like, usual armor patterns wouldn't, wouldn't be able to stop at all. So there is that. So three hundred twenty. Chat just asked, what do you do in Step Pyramid? And that's really fucking funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> drill is not ducks now? Oh, God. Wait, drill- Oh, good- Oh, yeah, good point. Drills have crazy amounts of health. Yeah, they, they do. It's insane. Yeah. Also, I like these little floating bins up here. The little pack cannons. That's cute. Overall, I've tried to do an Ancient Egypt, like, pyramid Necron style before. Yeah. Uh, it works, but it's hard to get working right. So. Oh, yeah. The yeah, final... Like, I, I know it was critical of this, but don't take it too harshly. Yeah. The final faction for Kanumageddon is all about that. It's basically, um... You know, oh, imagine, that's what you were yeah, just ancient. Basically, think like ancient Egyptian slash just ancient civilization with energy weapons, and that's basically the aesthetic they have going. It's really hard to make anything for them, be precisely because it's so hard. There's a bunch of stuff uh, made already, but yeah, they have the least su submitted designs so yeah, far. Show me that faction. It sounds interesting. Yeah, do you want to see a pyramid that might or might not be better? <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe later. Oh yeah, maybe later, we right. Are, we're, yeah. we're strapped yeah, for time. I'm running out of time here. Yeah, I'm overtime okay, by 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm overtime by an hour and 25. Oops. Uh, <laughs> Alrighty, I like this, I like this concept. Oh, but, yeah. But I do like the concept. I like what you're cooking here. Okay. Uh, the wind shape is good, the fuselage shape is good. Elia, like, you did a really good job here. The props on the tail, that's based as hell. You just yeah. need to balance it out a little bit, like, functionality. Are the shadows weird, or is it missing a block at the top of the stairs? Uh, hey. Oh, on the pyramid? Yeah, I'm, probably shadows were weird. Trust me, I learned that the hard way, that includes music too. What? Roar when he desecrates a neck wrong grave trying to dig up a forgotten useless piece of pottery from the sh <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, overall though, I like where this is going, just finish it, uh, resubmit it in the future, and I, I want to see how this ends up, because it's actually interesting. Right. Just random pragmatic thing, like, some people, like, have a real aversion to alloy. Um, for anything like this that needs to get itself airborne, alloy is a good idea because these are push props, and if this thing is going to control its altitude by pitching, uh, the less weight it has to push, the better. So if you swap this out to alloy, it might- well, for one thing, it'll float really well, and for another it'll be light enough that the props could control its altitude via pitch a lot better so i am a believer in alloy planes some people disagree yeah, with that yet make it out of wood make it out of wood because a it's not alloy and b it's a prop plane already so wood and metal frame kind of like deep water guard planes is really based okay all right well <laughs> there you go then <laughs> <laughs> but also no border wise is correct making planes out of alloy is usually the smarter move yeah. Uh, because at that point, like, you're fast enough that most fins, like, you don't need armor as a plane usually because you're fast and yeah. small. Um, also so it's means... a fine balance in line between, yeah. like, survivability, speed, and, uh, size. The no, overall, though, I like struggle. the look of that torpedo bomber. I liked it, All right, too. We actually, what was the tr the tremor's not meant to be in here. That's something I have to do for Kodal stuff. <laughs> Oops. All right. Yeah, so we have Bean's Trinity Assault Ship, which he based off of the plane view. The plane view? Okay, I like this. Yeah, so like he or he said it was inspired by the project we were working today on stream. Oh really? What did he make this? He did he make this yeah, while we were working? No one being yeah, he probably made this in the oh, time we were working. Oh my god. I am so embarrassed. We did <laughs> we got <laughs> just the framework of this and he made this <laughs> Oh, you have to no. understand, Bean is cracked as a builder. <laughs> he does a lot of yeah, so he does all the TG stuff, so like all the new good TG stuff was all Bean. Like, um, do you want to see something else he made that I actually just reviewed last night? Yes, please. <laughs> uh, where is it? I'm gonna put a Kraken. So we have a new Kraken now. Though, unfortunately, Pathos isn't gonna take it, because apparently it still causes FPS lag, even though I didn't notice. But... Holy crap! Yeah. Oh, that's that's a Kraken Kraken. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think Pathos is gonna take it because of the FPS lag, which means I'm gonna take it from my campaign. Yeah. Uh, it's got tentacles, the one thing the old Kraken was lacking. <laughs> Uh, it had it. There's just it was the APS guns were the tentacles. I thought okay. that was a really cool design motif. Ah, but, good point. Um, yeah, and the the the, the kraken behind like before that was like, do you remember like the super old like base kraken where like, it used to be a a fortress that had tentacles and with rams on it that would grab people? I don't I... know if any of you are old enough to remember that, but where this... the seal pup kraken? Uh, when is he gonna get it under volume? <laughs> 
But yeah, anyway. Oh, hey, ne hey, Blue, Nexa, welcome. I, I can't say Blue because Neko Boy Blue is also here, so Nexa, welcome. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nexa is the localization coder for From the Depths. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And um, someone who still refuses to play Nebulous Fleet Command with me. But <laughs> uh, we're about to have a collision, by the way. No, we're not. Oh, God. Okay, we might. Oh, wait, maybe. Whoops. Not. That may have been me, because I forgot that destroying stuff uh, completely lags. I gotta remember Ooh. to take it out of play first. Oh, the helicopters just tried to take off. Do they do that when the main craft gets... Whoa! Okay, yeah, then. give it a second. Yeah, this was my bad. I should have uh, taken it out of play first. Oops. Oh, don't worry. This... Yeah, Bean Ship wants to help by ramming it, but oh my yeah. god, it is this... tearing a hole through it. This looks vaguely obscene, actually. Just the long, <laughs> stiff bow punching into the squishy <laughs> octopus. Hey, wait a second. Yeah, I've seen this video before. <laughs> oh, uh oh. I mean, I haven't. <laughs> okay, yo. Oh yeah, Let's so look like, at these the... helicopters are. So... God, there's like. I hate when Bean submits because I never find anything to nitpick. Yeah, I got nothing. Like... I'm not even going to look at the internals because, like. Actually, yes, I am. I lied. Yeah, no, Bean. Yeah, oh <laughs> my god, these are just. These are... He made freaking railgun hybrids. When the two of us oh, together God. barely made a hull. <laughs> <laughs> and so, we had to steal the APS too. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we were distracting each other a lot, but... Uh, that, that is true. Alright, this thing does have a little bit of pitch and roll uh, problems, but freaking hell, like... Now that I know how fast this was made... I'm not gonna lie, this could probably, like, if we add some, like... Uh... This could probably fit the Sail World Republic, if that's something you're interested in. This actually would this. fit perfectly the Sail World Republic. Like, it's, yeah. Uh, I don't know what you're... Yeah, I don't know what you, So, Neater's volume limit is 35k at the maximum. This is 48k. Oh. Um, I go tend to go by block count rather than that, and, like, the 30k block limit just fits uh, oh, quite comfortably inside it. It's only yeah, 17k. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, in this case, wow. this easily goes into Sail World Republic if that's something you guys are interested in. That's neat. Uh, Bean, can we have this, please? <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, one second. <laughs> I'll just save that to the border by CC. I'll send the, the blueprint to you after uh, stream here. Uh, thank you. This, this is gorgeous. I'll, I'll, ask, I'll ask Bean first, obviously. Yeah, ask but, Bean uh, first. No, this, is, this is good. Yeah, this is good. If nothing else, I want to parade this in front of, like, uh, the Canoe Begin channel and say, Guys, like, if you're stuck on what to make for a Seoul Republic, like, things like this yeah, would be this. absolutely <laughs> dope. Yeah. SCW playthrough when? Uh, probably... Because I have some stuff I want to finish before I start SCW again. Uh, so probably whenever the demo comes out, I'll try. But I'll also be out in the field, most likely. So we'll see. So, boy, Rorsten, your mod is Rorsist? No, he's not. It's not Rorsis. <laughs> Guys, you can't call it Rorsism. Oh my god, we have company. <laughs> <laughs> Behave yourselves, oh. chat! We have company over. But anytime we get raided by someone, I'm like, alright, or like, anytime we go to raid someone, I'm like, alright, chat, behave yourself. Like, we. <laughs> and then they're out in public. And then they're like, <laughs> sure, we will. <laughs> uh... Alright. I well, like. That, I believe, is all we have today. Oh, so... cool! Yeah, uh, one second. Oh, I can I can do proper main menu time now. So I'm going to end the lobby here. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go back to the main menu and do my outro, but it was so nice having you on. Thank you for joining today. It was so uh, good being here. I had a whale of a time. We should do this more often. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I would gladly do this more often. I'll let you know what my schedule is like, and we can definitely plan some cool events. Yeah. Um, no, I, I'm excited. This was, this was fun. Anyway, I'm going to sign off here. So I'm going to do my sign off. I'll find someone to raid, and then uh, we'll go from there. Yay! But yeah, it Should... was it was great meeting you. It was great having you on. Uh, thank you for coming out. Likewise, I actually also want to like, I think a lot of our chat is this like same people, but I want to raid the same person you do. So uh, okay, in that case, let's do this together. So uh, I'll return to the lobby, close the server, do that. I can do this now. I can drag my uh, my VTuber model up here. So, uh, guys, tomorrow's stream will be the usual collab with Sandream, uh, with the exception if. Because Sendream does have Mother's Day's plans with her family. So if she can't make it to stream, we'll do... We'll figure out what to do, honestly. I'll figure out tomorrow as the time comes. We might do some more Viva Pinata, or we might do uh, more From the Depths. We'll see how it goes. Um, aside from that, yeah, uh, I already gave Borderwise a shout-out. Go follow his channel. 
Uh, I assume most of you are already following, because I feel like most of the followers I got today were from your channel, actually. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> maybe <laughs> if you're not following, yeah, if you're not following Borderwise, go follow him. It was good. It was a fun time. Yay! Uh, aside from that, we're gonna go raid uh, John Seven Seven Two. So I will write out the username for you, because you have to do slash raid uh, J Zero N J Zero N. 772. He's playing from the depths right now and has one viewer, so we're gonna go hit him with, like, what? We are going to traumatize to him. Seven. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, you you do slash raid into your chat, put the yep. username right afterwards. Uh, that will start a raid, which you'll see in the top right corner. That All will take right. about 10 seconds to prep. Uh, we'll say our last goodbyes to chat here, yep, yep. and then uh, we can hit him at the same time with the what? two raids. So let me know when you're ready. Hold on, let me make sure that I've... Yep. N772. N seven seven two, and then you just enter that. That takes how long? Uh, it takes about ten seconds to prep. Okay. So just hit enter, and it'll say like, "Oh, raided in ten seconds." I have twenty two viewers ready to go. I you, sir, a second raid has hit the stream. <laughs> I spelt that wrong. <laughs> okay. Wait, did I do the correct slash? It's yeah. So it's it's uh. Okay, one second. I'm just gonna put the command in our DMs. Yeah, that'd be very handy. Thank you. <laughs> Just copy paste this. Just put just enter that into your chat. Okay, I will do that and I will send it off. Hot speed, let's eat him. We're not gonna eat him, Raina. You're new. You can't do the cannibalism jokes. No, eat. <laughs> <laughs> no, bad. I'm gonna get the spray bottle. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I've sent it. All right. End of stream stuff. Yeah. Right. Last uh, end of stream stuff for me. Use a story. Like and follow me. Like on the Twitch, on the YouTube. Like both channels, there's the From the Depths Borderwise channel and there's the second channel, Border Triple R. Did a stream for that the other day and Rawson raided me and that was fantastic. And um, uh, people are already typing it in chat. I've written a book called Two of Rogues, so if you like uh, fantasy novels, you should go oh read God. that. It's on all the ebook stores. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> and the raid is about to go off, so I'm gonna yeah, raid now. Start and then, yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go, let's go raid! See you next week, farewell! <laughs> Whoop! <Yeah. laughs> Did it work? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, so I raided him with 22, you raided him with 20. Woohoo! Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, and then you just end stream, right? <laughs> yeah, and then we just end stream on OBS and you're good to go. Okay. See you folks! <laughs> Ending stream. Yeah, that